All right, recording has begun. So if you haven't been here for any of this event or one of the prior ones, uh, this is Adam versus Evil 6. We've been doing this for six years. So what that means is uh, we play 13 streams of horror games ranging from, well, scariness, like I've said before, is subjective, but uh, all kinds of different horror. Some of them are scarier than others. We got uh, body horror like Scorn. Uh, we got atmospheric horror. We got jump scare horror. Uh, from what I understand, this is more of an atmospheric horror survival game, and it's uniquely done from the top down. Uh, I'm blind to all these games. I know nothing about them, so uh, don't let me know anything. I'm going to be talking rhetorically. I'm going to be asking rhetorical questions. If you're blind also, then we can couch co-op it. Uh, Exhibition Blind will tell you more in chat. But yeah, I, I know nothing about this. Uh, literally nothing other than everyone's told me it's good and that it's uh, more atmospheric than it is like jump scare or something like that. So uh, this is Darkwood. Darkwood uh, it came out a few years ago, I think, maybe three or four years ago, and I've only heard good things about it. So looking forward to going into it. Uh, the other thing about this one is I do know that it's longer than the ones we've done so far this event. We'll have some games that are only a few hours long. Most of them are about one stream, seven or eight hours. From what I understand, though, this one's over 20 hours. So we'll probably be on this game for about three days as long as we uh, enjoy it. So Alf, thank you for the bit. Thank you, Alf. And Wild Fetus, thank you for the 23 months. All right. Looks like the recording is good. OBS is acting correctly. So we'll get started and get as far in as we can today. Recorded for YouTube. Watching the bunker recording over there. Alerts were not there. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I guess they're not. That's interesting. I don't know if that's better or worse. Yeah. So for anyone that's here, if the jump scare alerts are too loud or whatnot, I, I apologize. It's just part of the event because this is more of an event than just a playthrough. Uh, that's interesting that. Yeah. So I think it's probably better that they're not on uh, on the YouTube VOD. Actually, now that I think about it, I didn't do that on purpose, but I have a different setup this year. But I think it's probably better because if people want to come in and watch the actual playthrough, they can without uh, being uh, yelled at. And they're not really involved in the chat community event part of it, right? Because you're watching the VOD afterwards, which I still appreciate. But it's a different kind of experience. So uh, it makes it, I think it makes sense. It makes sense. So it's interesting that Twitch and uh, and and myself are the only ones going to hear those sounds. All right. Without further ado, let's play some Darkwood. If, the, if it's, speaking of sound, if it's too loud, too quiet, just let me know. I've never opened it before. We'll get it dialed in. Uh, but yeah, let's go. Uh, forgiving mode. When dying, you drop a part of your equipment. Unforgiving mode. You have a limited number of lives. After that, it's game over. The ultimate thrill. Death is permanent. I guess we'll just play on the standard one because we all have limited time. I would normally play on hardcore or permadeath like I do with every game. But uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just not because we just don't have the time to be playing this for a week, you know? Indiegogo content. Additional cool but immersion breaking content. Let's turn that one off. Okay. I'm literally blind to all these games. Yeah. I'm not. None of. No game that I play in this event I'm going to have ever seen any part of. I'm blind to it all. That's one of the. That's one of the whole purposes of the event. Um, you can read the title or you can type Exhibition Blind. But yes, I, I have not played any, any, any of these. All right. Uh, let's go. Going to Arion. Juicer, welcome in. You're playing a challenging and unforgiving game. You will not be led by hand. Respect the woods. Be patient. Focus. What is that F11 to use something? I don't know what that is. Prologue. Is that a Steam overlay that's stuck? I see hatred and fear in their eyes. You thought you remember me playing it? No, no. Yeah, I'll try to minimize and get rid of it. As if I was responsible for the spreading disease. But I think it's Steam Overlay that's bugged. Or NVIDIA, one of the two. Probably from where I minimized to check OBS. As if I were the source of all the misery plaguing this land. A prophet. <laughs> I have nowhere to hide from them. Nowhere to run. The woods have closed us off from the outside world. We are all doomed.
All right, let me see if I can get rid of that thing in the top left. I'm gonna have to reload. <laughs> I don't know why that stuck there. Uh, when I, and minimizing didn't fix it, so we might as well get rid of it in the beginning. The game is not black and white. <laughs> the beginning has a black and white scene, therefore the game is ancient. How old is this game? Get out of here. NVIDIA 4 GeForce experience. Why does it keep screwing up? I've never had that happen on any other game. Come on. Try this mode instead. Yeah, I might have to go in and literally turn it off. We'll see if this worked. That's so weird. All right, how do we turn it off specifically for this game? I've never had that happen with any game. Oh, God. I mean, it's not set up to use it specifically. Uh, maybe just exit it. Let's just exit it. Hopefully that works. Yeah, I've, I've never had that happen. I've literally played hundreds and hundreds of games on this. <laughs> I never use the overlays either, but it's usually just literally just pops up in the beginning. I don't worry about it. What? I exited it. Uh, how do I just turn off the overlays? I've literally never done it. This kind of sucks. Uh, in-game overlay, turn off. So. All right. Hopefully that works. Crap. This is what happens when you've never, never played the game before. That's not Steam, it's NVIDIA. There we go. All right. Sorry about that. <sighs> well, that was weird. And now the Steam community thing stuck in the bottom right. <laughs> it's, so, it's something with this game. Yeah. I'm just going to move my camera and block it, and I'll just deal with it, all right? Yeah, I've just never needed to turn that stuff off before, so it's never been a problem. <laughs> there. That's good enough. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I don't know. No idea. Alright. I'll just deal with it down there. Hopefully it doesn't block anything important. Aries, what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> All right. Wow. This is a, this is going to be a weird view. All right. So search the table. Notepad and a pill. Okay. Item found notepad. Okay. A chair. I can drag the chair. I can stop dragging the chair. Medical notes? I know these notes by heart. I don't want to read them now. The wallpaper is just mini pictures of me disguised. Potatoes. Examine the potatoes. The only edible thing growing on this land. I still have some left. Alcohol distiller. Homey device for producing moonshine. I would have been using the... 
potatoes for? Wooden door. What's back here? Barricaded window. Dismantle? Probably not. Reset steam. It looks normal now, but tiny. Uh, I think it's supposed to look blurry. Yeah. Generator is almost out of juice. I need to find a full gasoline can. I saw a broken tractor to the east. Maybe I could find some gasoline there. My tools. They haven't been sterilized for years. Local patients can't be helped anyway. Cages. This time they're empty. I mean this time they're empty. Search the chair. My old Zenit camera. My old useless medical bag. A photo. Uh, sure that's, that's a photo you want to keep around. Oh, you can just dump this stuff on the floor. Okay. Perfectly normal photo to keep in your house, yeah. Why wouldn't you want to keep it? Oh, I thought that was like a cellar. The lock has jammed a long time ago. Never mind. I used to keep useless junk in there anyway. I would rather not open it. I spent too much time to lock him in there. What do you mean him? <laughs> you can only select the and interact with objects within your reach. The interaction range is indicated by the color changing cursor. Oh, okay. Interesting. I've just woken up. Wardrobe. Alcohol. Quickly produce moonshine. Barely filtered. A rag. I'll open the front door to my house with this. So a key. My medical book. Oh, God. Item found. Medical book. Yeah, close that. Matchstick. Board. Okay. Another metal door. A radio. The radio has been silent for years, although sometimes I think I can hear voices through the static. Game already started? Yes. Just a minute ago. Another barricaded window. Okay. Well, let's not enter this room right now. Shoes. I think I left the key in the wardrobe. If the cursor has a plus icon next to it, you can hold the left mouse button to open the selected objects menu. Uh. Unlocked with a key key. Unlocked with a key key. I feel like I forgot to take something with me. Wait, 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 what? Oh, okay. We got the medical bag. Maybe I should just take all that stuff with me. Okay. That's your face on a potato. Please and thank you. <laughs> uh, there was something else. Oh, there was the pill, all right? There we go. Instead of dragging it over there, we can just hold shift, it looks like. Okay. I used to be... No, it used to be a luxury, but since all the access roads have been devoured by the woods, it became a useless pile of trash. So we want to head east, huh? What the crap is this wooden doll? A large humanoid doll with a carved out face. Another thing we definitely want to keep here. What? Is... Oh no, what? My dog. I don't think he's going to make it. I should end his suffering. Destroyed well with some rope in it. Alright, it says we should go east. Press space to vault over obstacles like fences or windows. Okay. Well, crap. Our guy's got, like, a super receding hairline, huh? 
Use the bank. Okay. Okay, white bar is stamina. The dog disappears when the light isn't there. That's right. If you can't see it, it doesn't exist. Tree. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no. <clears throat> dot 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 me monster he's laying there suffering he's suffering there's no way to fix him it said it said we should put him out of his misery why don't you try the pills first uh he's fine we're not a vet these trees are growing too fast. Soon, I won't be able to cut them down fast enough. Snare traps. I must be careful. The woods are full of them. Okay. That one looks like it's already used there, right? A dead cow. A bone. Okay. Peter! How long till I step on a bear trap? Maybe immediately. Location found. Path. Okay. To access the map, press M. Oh, we actually have a map. Wow, what a map. <laughs> oh, is the bot down? The bot might be down. No, the bot's working. I'm not sure why the PETA command isn't. The woods have devoured all the roads that connected us to the outside world. No one is able to pass through this thicket. Better than any map you would draw. Location found fallen tree. Crows are always a sign of something good. Burn campfire. These parts of the woods are dark. I should craft a torch. Press tab to access your inventory and crafting menu. Crafting. Oh, so much more light. Wow. I can see everything now. Like, more realistic, though. <laughs> Abandoned house. Yeah, that's where we want to go in. Oh god, what's going on here? What is Examine the corpse. In a few days it will be completely absorbed. Oh, I can throw the torch on it. Okay, get some rags. Do it? Uh, well it actually do let's let's test it. Why not? Let's see if it actually does anything. Oh no, we can just smack it. It doesn't do anything. Kind of house that ceiling. Uh, is that half human, half deer? We're just taking all these clothes. Why not? How are the pants still there if I pick them up? That's what you look like. We always knew. We always suspected. 
There's another animal. The sight thing is kind of crazy. Oh, dear. Graphics are really odd in this game. Like, everything is just slightly intentionally blurry. Oh, am I going to have to kill this guy, too? Have to. I think this one is still breathing. Big metal key. There's an exit out of these woods. The key will surely open it. Will it? He's unconscious. I've never seen him around here before. He's only carrying a key and some journal. Since he managed to sneak in here, he must know how to get out. Of course, he won't help me voluntarily. What? Uh, but that. Is of no importance. Are we the bad guys? Black and white movie. The game's like four years old or something. I need to get out of this accursed forest. You hear me, rat? Show me how, and I will let you go. I sometimes hear her voice. She's calling me. Calling me to return home. Where's the exit? Where's the exit? Where? Show me where. Uh, we are completely sane. I'll kill you like a dog if I have to. He'll friggin' do it. We've seen it. Uh, we're the bad guys. Hello, Chicken King. <laughs> Thank you, Phelan. Hello to the Fae fam. Thank you guys for being here. I'm a good guy. I just went out of these woods. I'm a good guy. Stole my keys. Wait, wait, wait. What? We get to play as different people. Interesting. An entry to a small cellar. Maybe the pantry? I'm hurt. I can use these rags to craft some bandages and heal myself. Wow, such healing. We're now playing as that guy that got found in the woods, yeah. This barricade is too strong to dismantle. Locked. I could open it with a lockpick. It's heavy, but it has a good reach. Shovel. Flashlight. Alright. This item is no longer usable. I need to repair it. <laughs> Oh, it's the darkest dungeon shovels. I think I took everything from the house as the first guy. Oh, God. <laughs> That's a good point. After, uh, wait, what did it say? Item is broken. I can repair it on, on a workbench. Okay. Oh, God. It's 
syringe. I mean, I saw him there. Oh, he's gonna lock us in the metal room, right? metal table with leather belt strapped on it my shovel's broken so I can't get through that are we the bad guys we at least were gasoline usable fuels generator highly combustible table leg a very sturdy table leg it's made out of oak be used as a weapon well well Field generator, equip the gasoline tank. Up your cur cursor of the generator. Hold right mouse button, followed by left, to pour the gasoline. Are we back in the bunker? Amnesia the bunker? The tank is empty. Oh god, it's so bright. Where are you, jerk? Oh my god, she's moving. Corpse has two dials instead of eyes. His mouth is wide open. I hear a distorted voice, barely distinguishable from the radio static. Should I kill you? I can't. Okay. Hello? You have to you have to tell me if you're here. What? Who's there? Nothing in the cage. I can push the lamp around too. Nothing in that cage. Better not leave the house at night. It's safer here. Four eight nine two. What? Oh, did I put six somehow when I was looking over there? I guess I did. Four, eight, nine, two. Four, eight, nine. Four, eight, nine, two. There we go. Whoops. Door seems stuck. I need to apply some force. Help me? I don't know, man. Come closer. Where are you? Hey! Dead man. A plastic chicken. A small plastic chick. It's my baby. No. Uh, what? Why? <laughs> excellent, excellent. It's my baby. I have to carry him with me. Wait, where's... Hey, what do you mean? <laughs> so... It says dead man. How do you want to get out now? You think you can manage all by yourself? Just 
friggin' noises. Oh god, what is that? This is probably fine. Boy, those woods sure are dark. Only the game warned you about how dark the woods can be. Nice mitten. No Friday. Alright, this is a weird game. Nothing seems weird after playing through Scorn. <laughs> For anyone wondering, the first uh, two days of this are up on YouTube in 4K. You can watch Amnesia the Bunker or Scorn, or both, up on YouTube now in 4K. This is uh, game number three this year. All right. Chapter one. So we just finished the prologue. Examine the oven. A pleasant warmth is emanating from the oven. I can sense a strange yet familiar scent. It's the smell of the protective substance, which gives me relative safety after dark. The vapors rising from the huge cauldron are distributed all over the house via long pipes. As long as I remain inside my hideout, I have a chance of surviving the night. Examine the oven. Look. At the weird bottle? Look at the weird bottle, I guess. The label on the bottle says, Staying out of the reach of the protective substance after nightfall results in immediate death in 99 out of 100 cases. It is advised to evenly spread the gas inside the sleeping area. Scorn was nightmare-inducing. This one makes your skin crawl. Warning! Even a properly repaired substance, prepared rather, does not guarantee 100% safety. Remain vigilant. It is recommended to stay in well-lit indoor areas in order to minimize the risk. All right, let's examine the oven. When I arrived here a couple of days ago, the oven was basically prepared. I just needed to light it up and to, and to ensure the safety at night. This cottage must have been one of our hideouts. The inhabitants of these woods don't need to inhale this revolting gas. Look inside the pot. A small, empty cast iron pot. I haven't used it yet. I haven't felt any hunger or thirst since the accident a few days ago i can't stop thinking about one thing these mushrooms these red pulsating mushrooms they look so tasty maybe this pot will prove useful after all cook what kind of cooking we doing here i don't typically use a typically use a syringe in my cooking he's probably um he's probably using it to uh i don't know infuse some turkey or something right yeah yeah. yeah. He's not cooking drugs. He's not breaking a little bad over here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's an oven at all. <laughs> Measure the ingredients carefully. A rag, a nail, and a photo of a road. The road home. Yesterday, I barricaded one of the windows. If I want to stay here for some time, I should do the same with the other windows. Okay. Workbench. Repair item, upgrade item. We can also make more things here. A gas bottle. A bottle filled with a toxic and highly flammable gas. Maybe like a Molotov-ish. We can make bear traps. Inventory upgrade. That would be excellent. Hot bar upgrade. Oh, that's interesting. So you can upgrade how many things you can actually have uh, equipped. A board with nails. Sounds useful. Antidote. Consumable cures and protects against poison for a limited time. Chain trap. Bandage with alcohol. Lockpick, bandages, and uh, different torches. Okay. I don't have the required resources. Okay, so to barricade that, we need uh, wood planks and nails. That makes sense. Also drag things around. I'm guessing it's night at the moment. I don't know. I don't see a clock anywhere. 
Oh, there's the red mushrooms he's thinking about eating. I can harvest them. Oh, no. What? There's no way I'll be eating those friggin' things. Got it. Received item. Odd looking mushroom. Wait, what? So, there it is. Cookable rots over time. Um, let's go try to cook it. <laughs> it looks so tasty. I can extract 10 essence from this. Oh, we have to have 50 total essence for a dose. Okay. All right. Maybe that'll like increase our health or something. Now nah, it's daytime out, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Some rope, alcohol, bottle, mushroom book. The title reads, The Use of Mushrooms in the Household. The bear trap under the window is still open. Looks like this night was exceptionally uneventful. I either farted or there's a spot on the ground. Uh, so yeah, we need to go out, I guess, during the day? We still have access to the map. Oh, we do, okay. My pulsating mushroom. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go out and, and look. Just a small toot. Oh, the well looks fine. We need four pieces of wood for that. Let's look around the house. We have a saw that we can use. Okay. Converts wood logs to planks and takes fuel. Uh, container. We don't have the code for it as far as I'm aware. Hey, more mushrooms. A large harvest. Is that Czech or Polish? I'm not sure. I can go back if uh, anyone knows. Got it. There's the generator out here. Half empty, it contains enough gasoline for one more night. Find a full can in the house above the underground entrance. Okay. A note. Turn on the generator before dark. Hiding in the shadows won't do you any good. They're coming either way. So the generator's outside this time. Rag, a torch, and a matchstick. Okay. Melee weapons have a secondary attack. Try it out by pressing middle mouse button. Got that heavy breathing already. <laughs> okay, 20 essence. Name of the lurk. Okay, which way do we want to go? I have no idea. Underground entrance. Uh oh, so we need to go that way in order to get the the gas, so. so I guess we're going south. Oh, I didn't even... How do I even put the torch away? Oh, okay. We just go to empty hand. I don't think I need the torch right now. It was almost burned out completely already. Uh. Okay. I don't have a weapon, so I don't want to go near those dogs just in case they're bad dogs. Style and light system is really cool in this game. I mean, location found underground entrance. What, really? Oh, God. I'm not going underground. That's for freaking sure. Not yet, anyway. Wood log. So we got some nails and a board. Nice. So we can barricade that window. There's an open bear trap. This is a house. I'll find the entrance to the underground here. Or stay with me. Let's not go underground. 
That sounds like a pretty good idea, right? Looks like another dead dog. Bed, sack, lock pick, and some bread. Torch went out. Whoops. A bed. Oh my god, I almost stepped on that bear trap. Okay, there's the gas. Hey, don't you know this will kill you? Cycle between currently selected objects. Press E. You know those will kill you? Aren't you worried about getting cancer in the far future? Because you're absolutely medium caliber bullet. And some batteries. Okay, it's too strong to dismantle. Alright, so let's take this gas back home. How do I know how long it is till nighttime? Maybe we just don't know. Nails, more boards. Keep checking the outside of this. And we'll head back to our hidey hole. I don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll eventually get an item that tells time or something. Okay. Also known as a clock or watch. Daytime in this game? This is daytime. That's why we can see. Maybe we'll get a sundial. <laughs> this is as day as it gets in the forest. Okay. So we want to go ahead and get the generator filled up, I guess. Hopefully that'll help us get through the first night. And then let's go see if we can barricade the other window now. Yeah, this is like your peripheral vision, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy, puppy. So, close that door. Barricade this window. I don't have the required resources. Oh, we need three. Crap. For some reason, I thought we found three. We only got two. Okay. Um, What can we craft? We could craft a board with nails on it. That seems like a pretty decent weapon. Let's do that. So this is like storage on the workbench. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, we got, got a weapon now. I need to find two boards. Wait, this is just friggin' open. Okay, so this side... Barricaded, 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 okay. Barricaded. But I mean, this is just friggin' open, so... What good does barricading this window do me tonight? Honestly. Can I, like, maybe move this? I 
Okay. Maybe that will work. I don't know. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I need more, of course, because I used one of the weapon. Uh, I guess let's go out and look around, and then when it starts getting dark, we'll, uh, we'll head home. I wonder if I can kill those with this. Yeah, I did see the upgrade thing. The well also needed boards. Oh, I probably shouldn't have used all the fuel in the generator. Should have saved a little bit to use the saw in case we find some logs. Is that a rat? It's a rabbit. Curious how many points, channel points you'll have by the end of this event. Oh, we got some gas from a tractor. Okay. Good. Oh my god, you can actually fit into the, like, cornfield or whatever. Yeah, we need a lot of boards. Let's just circle the field. See if there's anything laying around that. A corpse. Oh, he died with gasoline. Perfect, thanks. Thank you for dying with a can of gasoline. <laughs> Appreciate you. I kind of wish you had died with some boards instead, honestly, but... You know, take what we can get. It's like they're poisonous mushrooms. Oh, okay. So. Uh, Eversore, thank you for the 22 months. And Wild Fetus, thank you for the 23 months. Thank you, Fetus. Thank you, Eversore. Alright, let's just follow the edge here up until it narrows and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Location found, burned house. Okay. Sure, it's fine. Capture card, I give you, and I'll get all the lighting through your link. The internal one's different than the cam link one that I sent you. You let me know which, uh, which internal card. This internal is not going to work with your laptop. But yeah, you can let me know in the Discord channel, and I'll, I'll tell you what's up with it, if you want. Love the audio so much. Got it. We got some more mushrooms. Odd looking mushroom, is that the same? Oh, our inventory is like super full. A flare. Ugh, I'm allergic to those mushrooms, I guess. Out! Oh, there's someone alive in there. Story generator. Let's take some of this stuff back. Oh no. I have no idea if these actually do anything. Oh, God, it's getting close to night. Let's go home anyway. Go, 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 go. We gotta get to the generator. We'll come back there tomorrow. Okay, there's the field. Uh oh. We gotta get to this friggin' generator. Um, generator's on the other side. All 
All right, I have no idea what it's going to be like at night. We didn't get the stuff we needed to barricade that either. What else can we make here? Uh, make a bandage. Okay. We have that pushed shut. If this works or not but i'm gonna try it okay that's barricaded that's barricaded that one's barricaded there's a trap there okay they mostly come at night mostly Ugh. i kind of want to go cook my mushrooms Those windows are not barricaded. I have no barricaded windows. Got my board ready. Aren't you run? Run of the Tunnel ideology, eating only mushrooms. Yeah, very odd. So I put out a channel update on YouTube this morning, and someone replied and was like, I really think it was a mistake for you to not post VODs anymore. And then someone was like, uh, he is. And then, and, and then they're like, no, he stopped for quite a while. It's like, no, I didn't. What? I literally every single run I post on YouTube then, and the fooling the VOD is on there as well. Oh God. Footsteps. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what they're talking about. Yeah. Literally every single edited RimWorld run, the full length run is also on YouTube. Like what? If I didn't see it, it doesn't exist. I don't know what to do. I posted one set of VODs to the Archive channel. That's it. The time of the half hour segments? No. Yeah, so you, I'll get comments like that, and then I'll also get comments on the same day telling me to stop posting full-length content. Someone immediately replied, downvoted and replied to the Scorn video. I was like, man, no one wants to watch these full-length videos. Oh god, I heard something open. Like, no one on YouTube wants to watch these full-length videos. And then by the next morning, it had like 1,200 views. It's like, okay. Just because you don't want to, does it? You, you can just literally skip it, you know? I'm not sure what's up with the bed. It doesn't let me select it. I heard a door or something open, though. You watch it long form almost exclusively? Oh, no! What have I done? Uh, crap. <laughs> door opens the other direction. <laughs> Imagine barricading a door and someone just comes and opens it because it opens the other way. <laughs> I can see that happening in some scary movie or something. They put a bunch of stuff in front of the door and someone just opens it the other way. Like, oh, whoops. <laughs> the victim and the killer both look at each other and kind of chuckle. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> you missing something with edited? Yeah, well, that's why I want to keep both of them up, yeah. What is this game and do you like playing it? This is Darkwood and we just started. Do I like playing it? It's been good so far, yeah. 
But it's part of the uh, Halloween event. Oh my god, it's so dark in there. How am I even going to know when it's daytime again? I'm just going to go cook my mushrooms and I'm going to check outside. Like a scary movie moment, yeah. <laughs> It's too dangerous to cook during the night. Okay, that's how I can know. You can't sleep here. Yeah. I don't think you would want to. It did say the stove would protect us a little bit at night, so. Yeah, I'm not going over there. I heard something over there open. Oh, okay. We can combine some of the... Oh, I think the sun's coming up. Maybe. Or there's a blood moon or something. Oh, okay. Okay, it lets you know. Day two, okay. <laughs> uh all right, nice. We did it. Go, oh God, what's happening? Why is it turning red? They're coming. Whoa. Do you see, like, when I'm not looking in a direction, the ground is covered with roots, pulsating roots? Hey, we did the first night. Cook some mushrooms to celebrate. We lived. Oh, wolf man. Even from afar, I can smell your putrid stench. Be glad I don't have an appetite for carcasses, meat. The figure hides its face under the hood. It smells of wet soil and fur. Oh my god, in the future? One of the only survivors? Furries. Furries. I know what you're after. I can help you reclaim what you've lost. If you help me attend to a certain matter, what do you say, comrade? Definitely a furry, definitely. As he leans toward me, I can hear him giggling under the hood. I knew it would interest you. Before we make a deal, you need to prove that you can do the job. I've no time for weaklings, meat. You follow? Show me what you're made of. Get through to the silent forest. You think that's so easy? If I were you, I would prepare myself well before setting out. When you get there, you will find me in this spot. Remember it. Wolf grabs my map and scribbles something on it. The likes of you always crawl back to me. I can show him an item? Trade with him or gossip? Let's see gossip. If I were you, I wouldn't venture too far from here unless you get bored of your lousy life, meat. Only a few returned from the dense woods, and those who made it back were not able to share their happy stories. <laughs> I'd avoid getting into trouble if I were you, Meats, or at least until you get a decent weapon. I wouldn't recommend wandering around these woods at night. It would mean certain death for you, Meat. Better hide in that hideout of yours before dark and pray for the morning light. I can show him the chicken. Okay. Beautiful item. Perfect for a church fair. What? <laughs> Why would he immediately think you should put it in a church? Okay, let's show him the photo of the road. What, what's that you got there? Wolf snatches the photograph from my hand and studies it carefully. Finally, he snorts. His thick yellow spit landing on the photo. <laughs> ha, this road doesn't exist anymore. Overgrown with trees like all the other ones. The wolf throws the photo on the ground. Better forget about the road home meat. Around here, all the roads lead nowhere. It's a typical thing you bring to church, right? Easter, eggs, chickens. It makes sense. Je Jesus. Trade. Reputation? The reputation must be currency. He has a toolbox. Some batteries. Bottle. Flare. Flashlight. More gas. Small caliber magazine. Rag. A red egg. An ordinary chicken egg. The only difference being that it's red. He spit on my photo and threw it on the floor. What a jerk. A metal pipe. Some tape. A watch, 300. A handgun, 450. Wow. Weapon parts, tape, chain. 
So, yeah, that's what it is. So, I don't know what of this that we are going to need more. It feels like getting the watch would be nice because then we can know when it's getting closer to dark other than just the visual clues. But, uh, that watch is very expensive. So, may maybe we'll... I buy weapons and ammo. Yeah, we'll, we'll try to trade with them again someday. Okay. If you wish to spend some more quality time basking in the striking yet naturally natural beauty of my features, where you head off to the silent forest, you will find me in my camp in the dry meadows. Okay. Wolf points to a location on the map. Okay, so we can get back to him and trade. Uh, do we need to turn off the generator? Not sure. Let's leave some of the stuff behind. We want to put that back there. All right, let's go. I'm. These are rhetorical things. I don't want to know anything about the game. Thank you, but, but um, yeah. The nature of streaming is I'm going to say a lot of rhetorical things. So if I screw something up, or whatever. If you actually know, don't let me know. All right. All right. Let's go explore the burned house today. I guess. Wolf's camp. Okay. So his camp is really close by. Let's go look at the burned house. We're just straight up from here. Past the fields. Yeah, I, I, I said it at the beginning of the stream, but for anyone that came in uh, kind of later or anything, uh, I'm completely blind to the games. You're blind to the games also. We can figure them out together. It's kind of couch co-op. You can I exclamation blind to the chat to tell you more, but the nature of streaming is I'm going to be... Um, thinking aloud and asking rhetorical questions. So if you if you know the answers to those or, or whatever, um, definitely don't let me know. But if, if you don't, we can figure it out together. Uh, I I had something last year where I, I said some theory of the game. So I stopped, uh, actually a couple years ago, I had some theory about the story of a game and I said it and someone in chat was like, oh no, no, that's not it. You're pretty far off, that sort of thing. And I was like, all right, well, friggin' thanks. <laughs> Uh, exhibition games, yeah. Exhibition games. So we don't have the key to go in that room yet. Take his gas. Okay. Need a key. Okay, let's go see what's near the wolf camp. <clears throat> and I, I don't, I'm not like upset about it. I know people mean well and stuff for the most part. But just putting it out there again. I accidentally attacked Darkwood in the game section twice. I was trying to quickly get the command up, so it doesn't surprise me. Location found, wolf's camp, okay. The crap, he's just sleeping in a bed out here. I can smell your stench from far away, meat. Imagine if he let us just drag his, his bed home. <laughs> I'm going to play the game twice. <laughs> yes, meat. Okay, so easy to come over here and trade with him. Oh, okay. So let's explore down this side. And then if we come to the part part where this um, uh, constricts, we'll loop back back home. See how much of this we can explore in this this day. Do have a weapon now, so maybe those 
dogs that we saw that we avoided the area for. Maybe maybe we can fight them. And that's very dark over there. We're going to need a torch even just for the edge of the woods. And there's a bear trap. What the crap am I hearing? There's like some kind of cultist type guy or something banging his head against the tree. Oh, he ran away. Some pills? Okay. Maybe I should join him. Maybe I should bang my head against the tree. <laughs> so weird that things change. Oh, is that a key? Shiny stone. Maybe we should take that over to Wolf. Oh, that's interesting. There's something weird going on here with these symbols. Alright, let's get, get away from this area. Back. Whoa, God, bear trap. What is this? Shrine. Okay. Wolf Blitzer from CNN. <laughs> Uh, we can disarm the bear traps. I'm wondering if we can bring them home after disarming them. Put some more in front of the windows or something. I was going to try to kite those guys. Crap. I, I got to be careful about these mushrooms. Let's go. Let's go on Tet. Chicken strips, mother. <laughs> it's funny because apparently those alerts are not in the recordings. So <laughs> people that watch this on YouTube are just going to randomly see me go. Oh, that's loud. And they're going to be like, what? What? what, what what's loud? <laughs> uh, Tet, thank you for the bits. All right. Stay off those mushrooms. Stay off those mushrooms. That's good advice. Uh, Adam's anti-drugs. Oh, God. There's three dogs there. Oh, God. <laughs> Three dog night returns. That's right. It's fine. <laughs> They're really busy with that corpse, man. They don't care. This works for me. So it takes two hits with the board of nails to kill them. Why do you keep killing the dogs? They bit me. Using corner cheese. Throwable can be used as bait for carnivores. Okay. Got some wire, some alcohol, and some bullets. Boy, that doesn't heal you a whole lot, huh? I drag the corpses. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, there's no hold left click on those. There's some more poisonous mushrooms. Gotta be careful there. Heard another dog. And we're getting pretty far from home. We're the monster. 
feels like it sometimes. I mean, the very first thing we did... We, we're not that character anymore. Location found. The Brook. Okay. Hmm. I wonder what the significance of the Brook is. Maybe just a landmark. We are pretty friggin' far away. I'm not sure. Man, maybe we should have sold enough stuff to get that watch. I think once we reach the bottom edge, we should probably turn back. I base that on literally nothing. Well, oh, there's another field down here. And there's like a trail coming out of it. Wedding? Seems like a bad idea. I say as I just keep going. <laughs> well, there's like some kind of big combine type thing. Oh my god. Go next. Can't tell if it's starting to get dimmer or if that's just because we're close to the edge. Oh, God. Okay, that dog is chained up. Whoa. It's not my fault, okay? I just keep sending dogs at me. What the crap is going on here? I think we're the bits. There's a dog being tortured somewhere or something. I don't have a torch. Speaking of tortured. Oh, God. I don't have anything to see in here. What is going on? We need to get back home sometime. I can drag the tables. I need to come back with a torch. I cannot see anything. Yeah, guys, we're going to have to come back. Because I might be just missing stuff. Torture. That's right. Yeah, imagine, like, walking into a bear trap here. That's what I was thinking, too. This game's nerve wracking. It's interesting how good of a job they've done with the atmospheric horror with this kind of graphics and top down and stuff. Destroyed well. We're actually outside. An old wagon decorated with colorful ribbons and flowers made of white tissue paper. Oh, we can't go in there anyway. All right, we got to make it home before it's dark. We're going to have to come back with a torch and see what... There's got to be some, some stuff here for us. But... Yeah, okay. What kind of wedding did you have with a bear trap? Uh, a good one. All right, I already searched that. All right, well, let's get out of here and see what the light looks like and see if we have enough time to explore. But I think we should probably just explore a section on the way home. Yeah, it's still fine at the moment. So we went up the left side. Let's just go straight up the middle here. What's this game about? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey. Huh. 
I don't think I want to mess with that. The game is about this evil forest that's encroaching on all the land and we're trying to find our way out. The game's about mushrooms and dogs. Location found broken tree. Oh, is that a corpse over there? More gas. Rag, okay. We really need boards. Yeah, there's a moose or an elk or some, some large herbivore that I don't want to deal with. Another burned house. Okay. Got some alcohol. Flare, some pills. More rags. A note. I know they're there. I can hear them laughing. They're behind the wall of trees. I can't get through by myself. The trees grow back too fast. Uh, mushrooms, nice. Oh, more mushrooms. That might be enough. That might be enough. Sounds like shrooms, all right. Yeah, uh, that might actually be enough to cook a full syringe. I <laughs> don't know what that does yet, but... Oh, crap. Can't tell if they're guarding something or not. Another destroyed well. There's a rope that we can get. Tire, gasoline... Uh, do we have any low gasoline that we can combine like we did before? No. Okay. Oh, uh, wait. That one's almost empty. Oh, we we need to get home. It's starting to get dim. We'll have to come back to the burned houses. Oh my god, there's a dead pig. Yeah, it's definitely turning uh, towards the more duskish color. But we'll come back to the burned houses tomorrow. Wait, we just found somewhere. Another place. Lots of points of interest to, to explore. For now, we gotta get home. Get the generator up. The mushrooms cooking. Okay, we're home. Right? Wait, wait, wait. the graphics we're not home <laughs> we're actually nowhere near home yeah the graphics have been uh really added to it so far poison mushrooms their dog wait did i go too far so hard to tell. Yeah, I noticed I hit a incorrect button. It said I don't have a. There's the shrine. Okay, so we're we're south from the house still. I hit, I hit a button and it said I didn't have skills to use that, which is kind of interesting. All right, Get the generator going. Um. And let's go see if we can cook this mushroom for nightfall. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is like a skill tree or something. I will be able to see further. Staying in dark areas at night can be dangerous to me. Once a day, I will be able to heal myself by standing next to an electric light source. Once a day, I'll be able to learn my current location on the map. I'll be able to heal myself by eating mushrooms. 
Uh, I don't know. Feels like healing myself without having to consume something would be pretty pretty handy. Seeing further would be very handy as well. Let's go with see further for now. Oh, you have to choose a negative to go with each positive. Ouch. Okay. Interesting. Next one takes 150. All right. Uh, we still don't have new stuff for a torch. We need law or uh, planks pretty badly. Gasoline, we'll store that here. Shiny stone, I want to take over to Wolf and see what he says about it. Let's hold on to this meat. I need a board for that. Hardened. More nails. Inflate more damage. He's 15. Huh. Okay. Everything seems okay. I guess we stay near the light source and try to survive the day or the night. And hopefully I don't have to use this wood plank too much more. So after we survive the night, yeah, I'm going to double check. I think I looted that, but I'm going to double check that we looted that pile of wood. It might have been when the inventory is full. And then I'm going to go down and explore those uh, burned houses. Do this by yourself. I don't know. Can we just hear something moving out there? Character a drug addict? No idea. We haven't we haven't taken any drugs yet. Other than just that one hit of mushrooms, right? <laughs> Does a hit of mushrooms make you a drug addict? Maybe. Probably not. Strict mushroom only diets. Syringe that gives perk sounds like drugs. What if I go answer the door? Oh, screw it, guys. I know I shouldn't. Was that something is lurking on the shadows? Just stay close to the light. Okay. <gasps> no, what? I, I took my light with me. That's no Girl Scout. 
Wow, they were actually able to turn that light out. Hey, you guys got tagalongs? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's what the downside of the new skill is. But it's weird that it actually turned the light out, too. Maybe. Samoas. I mean, what is a friggin' board with nails on it gonna do against ghosts, banshees, wherever this was? Mushrooms might be giving us hallucinations. Nah. Nah. I think we've almost survived the, the second night, though. Peanut butter, chocolate. I think those are tag alongs, right? Ah, dawn of the third day. Uh-oh, this is the day that the moon crashes into the earth and destroys everyone. Wait, we gained reputation just by surviving? Oh, okay, cool. All right, let's go turn that generator off. Yeah, there's definitely cracks there. Whoa, you see? But when we look there, we don't see that. Oh, wait, this is a different guy. A man, roughly my size, is standing before me. I can barely make out his disturbing, disturbingly familiar features through the matte visor of his helmet. The massive helmet is covered with an old sack and seems to be an integral part of the unnaturally pale body. They killed Wolf Blitzer. <laughs> I remember him. He's the one who rescued me from the doctor's house. The man reaches out to me with his black hand. It's covered in charcoal. There's something written on his worn woolen glove. We need to stick together, brother. His lips are moving, but all sounds are drowned inside the helmet. He shrugs and takes the huge sack off his back and drops it on the ground, revealing its content. It's Santa! Let's show him the photo of the road. He wipes his left glove on his pants, takes out the charcoal from his pocket and starts scribbling. When he finishes, he lifts his dirty hand. All roads lead deeper into the woods. Oh, he sells parts to make the gun. He also sells odd looking glowing mushroom. And he sells a watch as well. Fabric. We need that to make a bigger bag. So that would be a good one to get. Um. So I guess the shiny stone we can just sell. Axe blade, shovel blade. Um, I really like that fabric. Let's go see what other items we have. Yeah, this is not. Yeah, this is not the whole thing either. This is also frame and barrel and stuff. He also has boards for sale, which would be nice. Oh, the boards aren't even that expensive. How many did we need to fix the well? We needed four. And then we want to upgrade our item. Let's just buy all the boards, honestly. Am I going to regret that? I really want that fabric so we can get a bigger bag. So let's get four for the... Let's just get this one stack. Right out the shiny stone. And let's see what else we have to trade after that. Uh, we'll sell him the other meats. Layers. Alcohol. 
Let's see what he'll give us for this kind of stuff. We also need to take the lockpick with us in general. Okay. <laughs> it's the first time anyone's used that this year. Observer, thank you for the, all the bits. Thank you for the 2,000 bits. Really like Darkwood. Hope you like the game as well. It's been good so far. Uh, thank you, Observer. Very kind of you. <laughs> I really want that fabric. Looks like we're not going to be able to afford it yet, though. My innocent ears! You said the F word! <laughs> All right, let's go turn off the, um... Turn off the generator. And then let's go fix the well and see what that does. Two point hospital yesterday. It was great. great. It did kind of suck. I hear crows again. I kind of want to go towards them. Oh, okay. We have a way to heal now. So drinking from the well seems to heal us. Well is dry at the moment. You should check back tomorrow. So we can drink from the well once a day. Okay. Let's go repair our weapon and then we'll go check out the, uh, the burn houses today. Uh, okay. So. Repair. Upgrade item. I don't have as many nails anymore. Okay. All right, let's go check out the burn houses. Plank went out. Shadow was too powerful. <laughs> so now we have a way to heal once a day that doesn't cost bandages. Well, the vibe of the game, great one for October. Yeah, yeah. And so like I tell people, we play all kinds of different ones. A lot of people come in and be like, what? This game isn't scary. But uh, sc scariness is subjective, and it's all about horror games for this event. We play all kinds of different genre of horror. Oh, um, maybe I should empty the inventory again. Yeah, I don't think we need to take the boards with us, right? Let's make sure we have enough room to carry stuff back home. We might want to take some of the meat with us. We'll take the lockpick. Um, we'll take a rag in case we need to make another bandage. Otherwise, let's let's go. Yeah, it's been good so far. It's definitely a scary game, you know, but it's atmospheric. It's pretty immersive. It's actually more immersive than you would you would think, based on the graphic style choice. And I think that's part partially because of the vision cone. All right, so today we're going to go explore the burned houses. I think that's where we are now. Right? No, this is the underground entrance. Okay. Houses are the next one. The sound, yeah, the sound is good too. Poison mushrooms there. All right, burned houses. Wood logs, board, nail, good. Matchstick, rag. What's the middle? I don't remember what middle mouse. Oh, that takes a lot of stamina. It's like a faster hit that comes out, but it takes a lot of stamina. Okay. 
You stop killing dogs? Well, if they stop trying to kill me, I'll stop trying to kill them. We can have a truce with the dogs. More mushrooms, get. I think we, yeah, we searched all this before. I really need, uh, oh, there we go, a torch. We can go explore the wedding area. I think we pretty much... Ch oh, there's more mushrooms. Alright, let's go check the, uh, the wedding area. I think we looted just about everything we can here. There was a, uh, what, the weird cultist-looking shrine place on the way, too. Uh, the fallen tree. Alright, this is the way to the wedding. We don't have any heals. No healing. We do have a rag, though, so if we find one more rag, we can combine those and get a bandage. Alright, here we are. Looks like the dog doesn't respawn, so that's good at least. High heals. Uh, not very high heals, no. Alright, here we are. Man, that's some some thick woods already growing through this. And drag the table. Nothing to loot on the table though. We examined that before. Just follow the flowers, I guess. Oh, we don't have the code for this. That's right. Um. We have a lockpick. I don't know if it'll work. Uh, this is a code door, so I'm guessing not. We could we could use the lockpick at the north house. If we run into a dead a dead end. Only 10,000 possible. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if there's a reason we can move the tables.
An old wagon decorated with colorful ribbons. Okay. So no code there. Rope in the well. In the well. Table. 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 Only certain ones of the tables are movable. I don't see anything under it. So there is one door that we know we could go to that is locked with key. Maybe we should go there then. That's our only current lead, so yeah, let's go there. Uh, Quinto, think of that eight months. Thank you, Quince. Definitely some weird crap going on there. Okay, hopefully we can get all the way there before nightfall this day. Because every day that we go out and we don't manage to get... Oh, it's raining. Uh-oh. Every day that we don't make, uh, we go out and we don't make progress and we don't get more fuel, the night's going to be very difficult. Oh, the rain graphic is pretty cool in this. We also haven't gone up the right side of this. That's okay. I like the rain graphic. Good rain sound also. Poison mushrooms. Eat the moose. I think the moose will kill me. <laughs> That's what I'm guessing. It's a dog. And a corpse we haven't looted. Good. There's a fallen tree. So not far from the underground entrance. I'm still kind of curious about that. <clears throat> Just ring out your house like that too. The ASMR rain making you sleepy. Oh. Whoa. Lots of poison. Oh, God. I wonder if the poisonous mushrooms are so plentiful now because of the rain. Okay, there's the shrines. We're almost at the home, right? Yeah. So many random dogs, yeah. Okay, there's the field. So the house with the uh, locked door is right above here. Okay. You have to have the key? Crap. I thought we were going to be able to lockpick this, but apparently not. Okay. Womp womp. Okay, um, we haven't gone to the underground. Was there a code there as well? We haven't gone over here. I don't know how much time we have left of this day, though. Uh, 
Not that I know of, yeah. Hmm, here we go. Uh... He hungered around. I remember his face, the face of the man who saved me and held me captive. I don't know how I managed to escape his hut and up here. What I do know is that the insane to my key, the only chance to get out of the woods. I also tore out all the pages from my journal. I doubt that he was able to learn the location of the underground passage, though. I should check if the door is still locked, just to be sure. I must find him. I don't think he still lives in the same place where he held me. Makes no difference as I have no idea how to get back to that vile place. Never heard of it. Love seeing new things. Yeah, it's been good so far. Okay. So, it definitely seems like underground. And if the underground is locked, then we have to find the guy that uh has the key, basically. Broken tractor. Battery, wire, scrap metal, gas. Okay, so we'll have to come back to this key master. I like the game. That's my journal, yeah. That one's mine. I'm going to read the rest of it, too. It's a bear trap. So you can move these into your inventory. Okay. Good to know. Seems like this aren't... Excuse me, disarming it just puts it in your inventory. Right, let's drop some stuff off at the house. And then go down there to the underground. Ugh. The rain sound is muted when you're inside, which makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, Alright, uh, put the battery in here. The tire, I'm not sure what we're going to use that for. Mine that gas. Okay. We can, we can actually upgrade our uh, our board now, too. Yeah, let's do it. There's no room for upgrades. You need to upgrade your workbench. Oh, okay. Mm, now we can make Molotov cocktails, single shot pistol. We just need that um, barrel and then two metal scrap. A lantern. Oh, that would be very handy. You have two, you have seven, two point six three. Yeah, i my workshop to craft this. We're gonna need more wood and uh, whatever the crap that is. So we just need more more wood. We can always go buy that. <clears throat> All right. Um, anyway, can we upgrade this now? No, because we use so many nails. Okay. Workshop is level two now, though. Yeah, it looks like maybe a toolbox, or it might be just the graphic of the first workbench. I'm not sure. All right, let's use a mushroom before it goes bad. All right. Uh, it is getting close to nighttime. I'll send you two. That's the password. I need more wood. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. So, uh, how's the fuel in here doing? Okay. We're going to try to wait. So, tomorrow we try the underground. And if we don't get in there, we go toward the east. I'm trying to wait until it tells me it's almost night to turn on the uh, generator. Maybe it won't give us the pop-up because we're already 
Close to home, I'm not sure. I know it's too late to go back out, though. <laughs> Good news, I'm getting a scam call again. And it's got to be real close tonight. I mean, we, can, we still have a vision cone at the moment, though. Alright. It's not so late that we can't use this, though. Maybe I'm turning that on a little bit too early. Dragging this back to the other room. <laughs> I'm not having it where those uh, turn out one of the lights again. Crap, what kind of lamps are these? Oh my god, Tynan had it correct. You just put lamps, giant bulbs in the center of your room. Made out of solid lead. It's like RimWorld. He's probably just a wimp. I doubt it. He's beaten like 10 dogs to death with a board. Mushrooms give you gas, you know? Okay, let's see the rest of the journal. Day one. I need to get back to my hideout before nightfall. Wandering at night is too risky. The forest exhibits increased activity after dark. Only the protective gas in my hideout can provide me with relative safety. Day two. The wolf. My mind must be going if I'm not delusional. The man whom I met had the head of a wolf. He told me he will help me get the key back. I just need to get through the other side of the forest. I'm going to meet him in the northwestern part of the silent forest. I should explore the surroundings before venturing forth. I do not wish to act too hastily. So it sounds like to get the key to the underground, we're going to have to uh, go to the forest where the wolf is. The wolf hideout. The wolf's hideout is in the northern part of the day meadow. The shadows. It was a rotten, strange night. Shadowy silhouettes emerged from the corners of my hideout. I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me in the dark. I'm certain I've seen something. They come back, I should clo keep close to the lights. Okay. Can't do that. <laughs> hey! There's somewhere I can stand where I can see all this. Okay. Quite the power cord on those lamps. You can even see the little, uh, like the gas coming out of that little hose. Interesting. I have no idea if we have enough stuff to make it to the wolf, though. I guess we just go, because there's not much else around, right? I mean, we could go sell stuff and buy things to make that gun. But who needs a gun when you have a board with nails in it? I need fish eyes, yeah. <laughs> I need prey eyes of some sort. Blast these omnivore eyes. Something opened that friggin' door. It's very tempting when that happens to go see what it is, but I don't want to die.
All right. Uh, when it's daytime, we want to use the well. We turn off the generator, use the well, refill the generator for the next night, and then try to make it t closer to the wolf. That still count? It will, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Gargoyle. That counts. Thank you for the lurk. <laughs> you think they're using my stove? I don't know, man. I don't like this crack in the wall behind me either. It's got me a little, a little nervous. Huh. I wonder if we got the gun and the lantern, if we'd be relatively safe to explore around at night. I mean, if enemies, ex if enemies spawn at night and we can kill them, that might be a way to get things to sell. I don't know. Definitely seems dangerous until we get the lantern, at least. What do we need for the lantern? We need to upgrade the... Uh, the workbench? Let's see if the wolf has stuff to upgrade it. What's the worst that could happen? Please send me channel points. It's the longest night ever. Hello? I want to go home. Who the crap are you? What? We need to get away from here. What do you mean, we? Where did you come from? Excuse me, how long was this guy sitting in the bed? Oh man, I should have hit him with the board. Ask him if he's seen Wolf. After each survived night, you gain a reputation with a traitor. Oh, okay. He's still there. Oh my god, what if I just kill him? Let's go turn the... I don't know, man. What? Who is he? Traitor's back. So the traitor comes each morning. You like how that's the go-to idea? He's gone. No, I lost my chance. Guy, if you come back tomorrow night, I'm busting you to have this board. He's gone. Traitor's back. As I approach him, the man drops the sack from... Okay, it's Santa again. So each night we survive, we just get money. Okay. Yeah, almost everything's wanted to kill us, so... All right. Um... So we want to upgrade to get the lantern. Uh, we needed boards. And then... This is friggin' red egg. Duh. Flashlight. The only problem with it is we have to hold it. I'm guessing the lantern maybe we, c we don't have to hold, but I'm not sure. Gun Llama, welcome in. First playthrough? Yes. All the games that we play for the October event are blindly. Yeah. Super blind. Uh, you can read the title or you can type exclamation blind if you want more information. So, just surviving nights alone. How much is the fuel? Okay, the fuel's not that bad either. So, every night we get more, more than enough to buy new fuel. So, as long as we survive and build up slowly... Don't rush into the woods. We should be okay. Um, Let's go double check what we need to make the lantern. We need whatever this is. I don't have the required resource. So what is that? A workbench? A toolbox? A radio? I'm not sure. Also needs more nails. Choice for a game. Okay. Let's go on BFG, one of your favorite games. Oh, did I turn off the generator? Crap, crap, crap. Alright. 
Nails and boards are both cheap, so we can upgrade that weapon and repair it. We also need to use the well. Maybe we shouldn't. We're at full health. Yeah, let's just save it in case we do get hurt. So let's upgrade our board. More nails. There we go. Maybe now it will kill dogs in a single hit, which sounds terrible, but... All right, uh, I'm going to go check what Wolf has for sale to see if he has that item. If not, we're going to start slowly making our way toward um, what's I think it's called the Silent Forest. Okay, Wolf is just um, northwest from here. Can you cook puppies so far? The only thing that we can cook is mushrooms. Oh, there's one of those guys. Whoa, he takes a lot of hits to kill. He probably died of starvation. I'm thinking he probably didn't. I'm no doctor, you know? I'm, I'm, I don't work at a morgue or anything, but I'm pretty sure this guy didn't die of starvation. <laughs> just, I'm just guessing. A staff made of wood of unknown origin. Oh, it's because there's two bodies there. <laughs> that just happened. You just happened to die over the top of another body. But that was pretty perfect. Starvation by melee. <laughs> I I still want to believe that that guy died of starvation. Like I hit him four times, and right before I hit him with a fifth one, he just died of starvation. That would that would have been spectacular. Yes, meat. He does have it. It is a toolbox for two hundred. Oh, hang on. The reputation is not just straight up. Uh, like currency, it's per person. So we need to get 200 rep with this guy in order to get the toolbox to upgrade to the next workbench. All right. All right. Good to know. Okay, so we haven't come down this side all the way down to the clearing. So let's go all the way to the east until we can't go any further. And then we'll explore down uh, from there. Barry Tarkov. I haven't, I haven't really noticed anything like Tarkov other than... Yeah, as far as the game type, anyway. It's your tomato farm. There's definitely no, like, extraction-based stuff. Oh, you just mean reputation? That's true. Tarkov did invent that, yeah. <laughs> no, I get what you mean. I got you, I got you. I haven't played Tarkov very much. I think I only played it, like, twice. I wonder if you can fail this. Oh, we get scrap metal from it. Okay. All right, all right. What about the extraction of the mushroom juices, huh? Uh, Observer, have a good shift. Thank you again for all the bits. <laughs> you are the first to use that this year. Maybe the, maybe the only. We'll see. So far, the, this reminds me the most of, like, in a weird sort of way, a little bit like Don't Starve, but horror, you know? <laughs> like a combination of Graveyard Keeper and, uh, and Don't Starve or something. As far as, like, the play style. I think we don't have to keep eating all the friggin' time, though. There's a fallen tree. There's a campsite. Can I bring any of the meat? 
I didn't bring any meat. Day two vibes. Top down view. So there is a camp. Uh. Wow. It'd be like a friggin' matador or something. Someone in that tent? Backpack. Gasoline in the backpack and a bottle. Another rag. Meat in the pot. Another rag, okay. It is interesting that that one dog was just barking at this. Okay, let's make a band-aid. Uh, band-aid. Ugh. Bandage, not band-aid. I kept wanting to say band-aid really badly for some reason. I mean, everyone would have known what I meant, but... So our only current weapon is about to break already. So it's basically strong enough to kill four dogs and then it's done. Hey, we got some logs. Rebel stone. So if maybe uh, we could make Molotovs, yeah. More logs. No room in the inventory, though. Uh, we can combine... Oops. We could leave something behind, like this piece of meat. Oh man, we found like a jackpot for wood there. So this is just below the camp, okay. So this must be pretty close to the the way through. Definitely want to get our bag bigger, but we need the tarp type thing and that was like 400 or something 450 or how hard it is to kill one of those probably pretty difficult i would say uh a lock pick we do have the lock pick on us all right let's go ahead Ooh. There's a Molotov right there. Um. Okay, we'll have to come back for these. And we remember there was a crate under the like sawmill area. Almost feels like I shouldn't explore anymore since our inventory is full, right? We can't carry it home anyway. Yeah, we can't even carry more of the wood logs, so. We need to keep selling stuff to the wolf in order to get the upgrade for the workshop. The workbench. I wonder if he gives us more money for meat than the other guy. Why? Because he's a wolf? Uh, exactly. That's exactly why. Oh, wait, we also beat one of those, uh, cultists. Our name is Meat. Right, we searched here.
We are the meat. Where are those crows? The last couple of time we heard them, there was like a lootable corpse that they were on. Hmm. It was hard to tell the direction. Let's go ahead and uh, fill the generator. Let's not hit it with a stick, probably. So it looks like generator is now good for two more nights at least. Almost three nights, okay. Let's go use the saw for the first time. Yeah, we need to drop off stuff for storage uh, before we explore much more. We don't have the code for this container out here either. Convert wood logs to planks. Minus 25 fuel. I have to pour it in here just like the other thing. Yep. All right, boards, boards. Uh, so what are we willing to sell to the wolf? Aside from the meat, I wonder. Take a look. Okay. Um. Battery has no value. The 9 volt battery has 25. I don't know if we're gonna, I'm guessing we're gonna need that at some point though. I uh, wanna save the planks. We have a lot of them now. The wire, the bottle. Selling the stone and the meat. We need the scrap. Don't know, I don't know if that's a good idea to sell those or not, but. Okay. Uh, let's repair our weapon while we're here. Repair a torch. Can we do that? Can't be repaired. Okay. Alright. Wolf, we'll see how much you'll give us for this. Uh, and then we can go back down and loot that crate and for the logs. I don't know those like cultisy looking areas. I think that's where we chased that guy and killed him before. Oh, there's another one. Off my land. So this isn't your land, it's the woods. Good lord. Alright, screw it. See ya. This guy was just casually sitting there. I don't trust him. Sitting around outside my house with horns glued onto his head. We hope it's glued on there. Alright, wolf. That's right, R-square. That's all I play. I'm sorry. Bills, meat. It has zero value.
Okay, so now we should be able to go upgrade that. Have you seen this game before? Out of curiosity. Definitely a horror game. All right. Can co play it, you think? Okay, homemade shotgun. So now we can make the lantern. I need to have it on me for it to ride light. Okay. Don't know if it's scary or not. It is a scary game. Oh yeah, I know, I know. Shotgun sounds pretty nice. We just need two of the metal, huh? Okay. Wait, so is it using up fuel only when I'm holding it then? I think it's using fuel anytime it's in that slot. Hard, really hard to tell though. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, let's put it there. Gives you a bit of vision behind you now too. Yeah, yeah maybe. Games though, definitely for this over remodeled. So. Uh, Saga, I think we're the nine months. Thank you, Saga. How's it going, Mage? Welcome in. Okay, so yeah, let's try to get back down there. And uh, is it getting? Oh, it's getting close tonight. Do we even have time to go back? I don't think we have time. Hopefully, nothing tries to open the friggin' door again tonight. We don't have a lot of time at all. Is there? Do we have time for anything? I don't think so. I don't know. Yeah, night is coming real fast. Oh, how much was the meat worth at him? Was it? I think it was just five, right? Oh, we need another lockpick. Uh, sure. Do we need wire? Okay, let's go home, I guess. The lantern. I don't have the lantern equipped. Yeah, I don't want to waste the fuel. Let's test it though. Which one? Um, cereal shake, I guess. Yeah, whoa, that's... That's that's definitely better. You get a lot of light really close, and then you have, like, great... Yeah, that's way better, actually. Depends on how much fuel it eats, though. So, now that we know the reputation is not shared... What should we buy from that guy after we survive the night? As long as we survive the night. Maybe buy some of those metal... Uh, uh, pieces of metal to make the gun. We want a lockpick for that. If we can get enough, the, uh, the cloth for the bigger bag space would be excellent. Okay, it's getting pretty close to nighttime. Go heck it. That's an interesting idea. We could actually buy things from him and then go sell to the wolf. Um, did the wolf have anything else that we need right now, though? We already got the... Um, we got the bench upgrade. I'm not sure. Uh, we didn't find any mushrooms today. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you have to make, like, individual bullets or what. I noticed that too with the with the shotgun. Okay, let's see if we survive tonight. Yeah, we already bought the toolbox, yeah. We did that part. So we have a choice to make. 
If that guy appears on the bed again tonight, do we try to hit him? <laughs> I think you know the answer. I think the answer is yes, we try to hit him. <laughs> I don't know when he appeared, though. Shotgun sounded like single use. Yeah. I guess we can repair it afterwards, right? I don't, I don't know. Did I bring two lamps here? There was only one, but I brought the second one. From the other room. Hit everyone. I wonder when he appeared. Did he appear when I went and looked out the window? Or maybe after the door knocking? Souls-like? Kinda. Try to hit all the NPCs. Drop a no eve, sir. Honest. Hey, if it wasn't for Samwise Gamgee dropping eaves, Middle Earth would have been destroyed, you know? Taken over. Yeah, I don't know what made him appear. This one looks stressful. We mean to do it, but it looks stressful. Yeah. Wait, what? Who's the only required member of the team? There's a voice over there. It's more stressful than Scorn. Yeah. Hello? Hello? No, I'm good. Thanks. I'm just going to stay in my room. Thanks. Crap is this? I think that's the thing that was talking to me. You notice it was first calling us from this room. We go in there and now it's calling from outside. <laughs> hey. Whoa, hey! Oh, he's trapped in the trap! Get him! Get out of my house! I guess we need to start barricading these windows. He also died of starvation. <laughs> I need to get that stuff out of the... There's dogs coming at night, too? Uh-oh. Hello? I bet this is some sort of sanity meter. I just watched him get out, yeah. <laughs> far, far, far. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Hey, whoa, you leave that door shut. That door is to remain shut until morning. Let's go back over here in the corner where I can see all the windows. Norm in the other direction? Yes. Yeah, we talked about that before. But at least maybe that would give me some time. So we have to push it out of the way. Oh, you made a small one? Really? Back up. All right, uh, I'll be right back. Get my liquid lunch, music intensifies, and we'll continue. Only take a second.
Okay, it's a good thing we get that free rep with a trader, right? So then if we don't end up finding anything during the day, we can at least get some, uh, some items for surviving the night. Seems like the people outside or the monsters outside or whatever are getting more brazen as well. The guy didn't appear on the, uh, the bed that night. All right. Uh, go turn off the generator first. I don't know if we have to trade first or not. Maybe I should just talk to him. Okay, odd looking glowing mushroom. So we want to keep buying those from him. Those are expensive, but that's how we're going to get more skills. We actually have enough to get the watch now too, which would be pretty handy. Uh, 17 times two, 39 months. <laughs> Back 17. Good to see you. We don't quite have enough for the fabric still for the, our bag expansion. We don't buy too much, though. We can do that tomorrow. Um, Or we can get the watch. 39 isn't 17 times 2. Oomph. Yeah, I'm not sure. It feels like the watch might be pretty useful, but I don't know because the... the environment, the light changes anyway. I wanted to keep supporting that. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. I think maybe we save and get the upgrade to the bag. I think so. Okay. I'll allow it. Uh, turn the generator off before we do anything else. That's where that voice was last night. We want to barricade the windows in there. So let's take the boards and the nails and see how many we can barricade. Shimonic with his cheeks full of pumpkin guts. <laughs> Wait, I guess we still want to buy the mushroom though, right? Because that's how we're getting new skills. Let's cook in mushrooms and only mushrooms. Always. Oh, we need a few more nails. I'd like to get a lockpick too, actually. Oh, wow. The wire is actually way more expensive than I thought it would be. Uh, Yeah, we'll just wait on that then. Yeah, I think new corpses and stuff do appear as well. All right, we got the three windows now barricaded. Um, I see a friggin' monkey. What was that? What's going, Harry? Hello? Alright, I'm going to check the wolf's inventory and see if there's anything else that we need to try to save up and get from him right now. And then I'm going to go down and loot the, um, the sawmill and that uh, chest we found down there. I don't know what the crap that was. <laughs> it sounded like a, an ape or something. Okay, he has another toolbox. It's interesting that he... That's not a one-time thing. He sells batteries... Yes, He's, he sells the tape. It doesn't seem like he has anything too much different than what we can get from that guy. Aside from the red egg, I don't know what the crap that is. Oh. Nice to meet you, wolf. Okay. Alright, uh, we're going southeast today. 
That's how roosters are made. The red eggs are for roosters. <laughs> uh, that seems legitimate. We'll see if that was another corpse at the generator room or if that's the one we looted previously. That's the red. That that is is that that Florida schooling or what? Did you go to school in Florida? No. <laughs> hey, what are you trying to say? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, that's the one that we already searched. Uh, Metallo, they were the twenty-seven months. You were telling the old Latin. Ruse egg, which means red egg. What you say about Florida, Tennessee boy? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you're like the founder of Florida. Off limits. Ha, a new corpse. You went to school in Florida and were part of the 99% of your teachers. <laughs> I'm an ambassador for Florida. <clears throat> Oscar, are you saying you're a Florida man? Are you a Florida man? <laughs> you hold the keys, can't come here without your permission. <laughs> they don't have schools, it's just prisons for small people. I will find you. Yeah, this guy's awfully strong to just be putting huge chunks of log in his pocket. Yeah, your dog. Why are you guarding this wood? Oh my god. Right, where was that locked area? It was like, are you going to make me kill you? It was a, I mean, we saw the other locked one, but I mean, there was one that I unlocked. I think it was above that one, but let's keep going this way today. Favorite highlights of spooky season. Thanks for doing it again this year. Oh yeah, my pleasure. Uh, it's always fun. It's probably not worth it, but I know a lot of people enjoy it, so. At least we're not getting a bunch of sphincter and finger quotes today. Whoa! Hey! Oh, crap. Oh, man. Location found. Entrance to the Silent Forest. Oh. What was that? Another metal door. A hole? Okay. This place is infected with something toxic. I need to find a way to get rid of it. Uh, oh God. Oh, the torch works. Actually surprised. Nothing on that corpse. Yeah, it's using up my torch, yeah. 
but I think that's probably worth it. Dead pig, dead something. For Christ's sake, session. <laughs> I always forget that new alert with the knocking door. That was pretty good timing, I gotta admit. Oh, what is that? An egg. Something is floating inside. The skin looks to be quite thin. Maybe I could puncture or pierce it with something. You got you guys too? <laughs> that was pretty good timing, yeah. An embryo? Yeah, let's just take that. Why not? I don't see how anything can go wrong taking that. You have it on the house speakers, so you can hear it all over, and that sounded like your door. <laughs> Man, I saw something going here, I'm pretty sure. We not? Gah! <laughs> what? Hey! Oh, Jesus. We got Texas Chainsaw Massacre guy here. You mean Leatherface? No, Texas Chainsaw Massacre guy. Okay, I don't have a heal, so... That's his house? I think it's our house now. Um... Find another rag, we can use that to heal. What's this? Another shiny stone. Those are worth quite a bit of money. We definitely want to take that with us. Let's leave behind... Some of the logs. Holy crap, our inventory is... Wait, I've already been over there, so it doesn't matter. Our inventory is already full, and we just started in these woods. I really should have bought that watch so that I knew what time to come home. We can't go out that way yet. There's some more rags. Um. Crap. Can we drop this along the ground. Oh yeah, we can. Oh, what is that? <laughs> Big bug swim by. What the crap, Tet? 10,000 bits. New bit badge for the spooky season. Uh, thank you, Tet. That is incredibly kind. Very much appreciated. I had to double... I had to check that like a couple times to make sure I wasn't adding a zero in my head. <laughs> That's a lot of bits. Uh, thank you, Tet. Man, our inventory's already full. I didn't mean I feel like we should go back. It's spicy. Play the spooky, scary skeleton sound then. I don't have it on a hockey. 
Um, I'll just start pushing a lot of buttons. Because I flow. That one's not too spooky. I mean, it is coral from The Walking Dead, so. So what time of day is it? It's still quite daytime out. Okay, let's go draw some stuff off. Coral Harbor. <laughs> Trees are annoying. I, I think that's the theme of the game. Annoying trees, the game. There's the camp, okay. I mean, can we go in the underground entrance? I think we are supposed to. Might have explored more than we're supposed to before going in that. It's like night all the time anyway. Oh, crap. I'm using up my lantern on accident right now. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, there's like a weird canyon area. I haven't gone through that. Hello? Oh, God. Uh, I think these are the burned house. No, this is my house. <laughs> I think these are the burned out houses. We could stay in that other house in the woods. In the house and guest store. Uh, thank you, Tet. Much appreciated. We could have stayed in that other house. There was a generator there. Hmm. That's kind of our waypoint further into the woods. But I want to check that underground place. Recognize it because of the pallet. That's right. Pallet leaning against that fence. Repeating to the generator. Yes. Very corrosive. Okay, I don't think we need more boards yet. So we got the lantern. Yeah, we do need to be able to craft more items and fit more upgrades into weapons when I upgrade the workbench. So we need another toolbox for that. Okay. Which means we need 200 with him. Uh, let's see. Got lots of fuel right now. Got a fair amount of boards. Shiny stone. That's high value. We want to sell that to the wolf. The embryo? I don't know if that's just a for sale thing or not. It might be. Okay, so pistol, a small caliber, semi-automatic pistol, a simple homemade shotgun, useless after firing a shot, man, so you can, I was thinking we could repair it afterwards, but maybe we can't even do that, single shot pistol, a powerful weapon, but useless after being discharged, so we want to make the real pistol, we need the frame, metal parts, and tape, and we need to upgrade the workshop again, okay, so let's go sell this stuff to him. Uh, that should get us enough, I think. Okay. It's getting a little bit further into the day, obviously. It's starting to get a little, a little dim. Use the logs to make planks. Yeah, yeah. no, I didn't. I didn't because I don't want to use up the fuel right now. But I will when we need more planks. I just left the logs in there until next time. Uh, we want to use fuel to make more planks. I wonder if those enemies will get even more aggressive tonight. All 
All right. Yes, meat. So we want to get a toolbox from you. And we're going to want tape and the hand handgun frame is 450. Wow, weapon parts are also 450. Does that other guy sell the same? Yeah, let's see if the embryo... Yeah, the embryo is not a key item. So I think it's just for sell. Watch some Dota. Is that him making that noise? Yeah, I think the embryo might just be to sell. Like on the ground, it had the same... Um... Oh, what? We found another shiny stone. Nice. Anyway, it looked kind of like the same graphic as the shiny stone as far as just a treasure. We jumped the fence. We could have went right by. Yeah, we need to put more fuel in there before we cut those. New game so far. It's been good so far. Yeah, very interesting. Okay, we're trying to wait till the last moment to light that up. I'm still tempted to go out after the voice, see if it's a different kind of enemy than we've seen, but I'm sure it's a good idea. Uh, anything new in the journal? No. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to go down there to that underground entrance and see if I miss something down there. And if not, I guess we'll go try to make it through some more of the woods. The chicken was, yeah, a story item. And when you show it to him, he says something about it. Um, fitting in at a church. I don't know if maybe we use that item down at the wedding area or maybe we'll find a church. I'm not sure. <clears throat> I think it's just Exhibition Evil. Not the whole, uh, not the whole title. Title. Okay. Generator on. What? Got a wedding invitation? I haven't found a wedding invitation. I don't, I don't want to know about anything I haven't found, but no, I have not found that. If that is a thing. <clears throat> Mention wedding. Yeah, it's because we found an area that said it was, uh... Yeah, this wedding. Wedding. So now the windows are barricaded. We know the door opens from the other direction, but I'm still going to put that there in case something opens, but it'll be slower. Invite any friends over tonight? No. I didn't invite any. Doesn't mean they're not going to show up. Well, that mirrors too. Yeah, the first one was was decent. It was a fun game. Little Nightmares was a fun game. I didn't really care for the ending, the story too much, but... Surprise party! As you sleep, you can't sleep. Okay, no knocking tonight so far. No doors opening. Nothing trying to rip through the windows. Maybe this will be the most calm night so far. That explains the shrooms then. <laughs> a little too quiet. It's a little too raff. Yeah, a little too raff. I quote that so much still. There's a friggin' T-Rex at the door. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, loser. Thank you for the three dollar donation. <clears throat> People that played the game were like, wait, I don't remember there being a T-Rex. God, that's so loud. You weren't ready for that one. <laughs> the door one earlier got me, though, for sure. I'm not used to that one. That's a new one this year, the door one. And it was used at a really good time. We were in a new building. I was looking around. I was about to come around a corner where a door was, and there's loud freaking knocking right in my ears. Oh, uh, but yeah, thank you again. Wow, is this really? Saw everyone laughing in chat before you saw it. Oh, because of the latency, yeah. Man, no friends coming tonight. I should have hit that guy when he was in the bed. You know? If there's any regret I have in the game so far, it's not killing that guy that showed up in the bed. <laughs> but Adam, what about that dog in the beginning that you had to put out of your misery? Isn't that your... No. Not killing the guy that was sitting in the bed. All right, so we need weapon parts, pistol, handle, and tape. That's what you want your weapons held together with, tape. You can't sleep through the night. No, you can't sleep. like a major part of the game i think is surviving and barricading yourself and having enough fuel to get through the night so sleeping through kind of can't sleep clowns eat me that's right <laughs> mod wife says that quite a bit too yeah a very calm night all right excellent Wow, the most quiet night so far. I wouldn't be able to sleep. Yeah, no friggin' way. Alright, the dawn is coming. Today we check the underground. Oh, they're TPing the house. I go out and check. Day six. All right, nice. So he also has the weapon parts and the tape. Okay. And he has the frame. So we need to save up a lot with him. So we're at 564. We're going to need 940. Or we could go ahead and get the bag space. That's what I'm leaning towards. Extra bag space? Yeah. Uh, yeah, chill out there, FFS. Flame tanks, you idiot. Yeah, what the crap? <laughs> right, let's go ahead and see how much bag space that gives us. <laughs> All right. Uh, inventory upgrade. Let's go ahead and grab that. Very, very little, little bits. Oh, we keep going as well. Also, we'll upgrade the hot bar, which is interesting. With one of those. So we can keep upgrading that with more. But that's good for now, I guess. That's all we can do for now. Okay. All right. 
upgrade the tool or the workshop. Oh, you can get armor. Look at that. Oh, no, the shiny stones. <laughs> uh, well, there you go. For the next upgrade, we need like a drill or something. Get a sickle. Interesting. Don't want to have. Ever want to choose something you don't want just to have agency from chat? Uh, you mean like game choice wise or within a game? Time is frozen right now too. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go down within a game. Yeah. Yeah. Just the nature of streaming though. I do occasionally have to tell people like, go play the game yourself. <laughs> like chill out or go play it yourself. Just be out in the woods tonight. And another tree stand. Have you seen any drugs so far? We used the mushroom syringe. If that counts. I didn't use any of the pills or anything though. All right. People that wanted the racetrack fixed. Oh, yeah. That was intentional, though, yeah. Oh, there was mushrooms in this corner I never saw. I tried to popular belief, a wall is a wall. Two more things of mushrooms, nice. The entrance to the underground tunnels. All right, here we go. We got a lantern, so maybe this will be all right. The tunnel walls were crushed by enormous roots. Uh, we have to get a shovel to dig through that. Okay. Well, we do have the means to make a shovel. We just gotta get the material. The light bulb dimly lights the wet walls of the underground passage. The further part is shrouded in complete darkness. I need a light source to continue. So good thing I got that first. Motorcycle magazine from this year. An automotive magazine. This year's issue. 1987. Oh my god, it was the year of my birth. What was I born into? Thick wooden posts barely hold the soaked ground and the tangled roots. The construction seems on the verge of collapse. Some rad cars there in the late 80s. Oh, that's your my birth. Oh, that's my birth. <laughs> I look at all of us being the same age. Or mushrooms. Got it. You were five. The part of this passage is blocked by overgrown tangled roots. Here's a bunch of mushrooms. Oh 
only one person is born per year. I think that's right. Locked. It's my only way out. I won't be able to open it without my key. Look at the handle. Press your ear against the keyhole. Look through the keyhole. Okay, let's look at the handle. The hatch handle is covered in a thick layer of dust. Has been opened for at least two weeks. There's something glowing inside. It sounds like a bad idea or idea to stick our ear to it. I can hear a faint voice throughout the howling wind. It sounds familiar. It seems to be coming through the keyhole. Someone is calling me. Okay. So we need the key or we need a shovel. Do anything else in here. Wait, wait, wait. Did that open up? No, okay. Why is chicken strip so loud? Christ. <laughs> it gave me a shiver just because it's so loud. R, R squared. <laughs> Thank you for the 500 bits. Insatiable D. 64 wants it tier 3. God. Freaking chicken strips. Uh, insatiable. Chicken suit time of year. That's right. Chicken strips time of year. What is that? Oh. Ouch. Uncle Jay, thank you for the bits as well. For the T-Rex. So we need a we need a shovel. What do we need for the shovel? Uh thank you, Uncle Jay. Uh the armor door in the underground passage closed. It hasn't been opened in around two weeks. The thief who took my key apparently does not know how to find the passage. Good. I, on the other hand, have no idea where to find the thief. Not so good. Okay. Good timing. <laughs> Hey, Tet, you're supposed to be cleaning. Uh, Tet, think of the five gift subs that you, Tet. That's not cleaning. What does your wife have to say about this? Uh, Tet, think of the gift subs. Cleaning my bank account. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we need for the shovel. Oh god, it does seem like we're gonna have to go through the silent woods or whatever, though. Yeah, come on, stop breathing so much. Or so hard. Whoops, I passed the house. Right? all the top one badges right now. All right, for the shovel, we need a shovel, a staff, which we've sold in tape. Hello? No silent woods with this chat. I don't think he still lives in the same place where he held me. Makes no difference. I have no idea how to get back to that vile place. Good lord. Insatiable. Thank you for the thousand bits also. A lot of heartbeats. Uh, I think insatiable. I can't believe you've been around that long. It's insane. One of the longest concurrent subs. Uh, all together. All together. He told me he will help me get my key back. I just need to get through to the other side of the forest and to beat him in the n northwestern part of the side. Yeah, that's where we have to go. So let's take some uh, fuel with us. Yeah, thank you, Zashul.
And I wonder if that guy will show up at this one. So I might want to take more of this, actually. Uh. Yeah, all right. Let's just take quite a bit of this. Take, get some more boards. Crap, my lantern's still running. All right, let's go. See if we can get there. I don't remember where that was. I mean, it was just right after the entrance, right? Or like where the moose was. Whatever. Elk moose. Tier 3 for 64 months. Yeah. Crazy. It's a good kind of crazy, so it's all right. Still uh, like midday. Everything is still nice, bright, and green. So, we should have enough time to make it to... And hopefully I'm right that we can just use that hideout. I mean, it has a generator, so I assume we can use it. Hmm. Nope. Any progress? I think so, yeah. We got a new journal entry, so that's progress. And yeah, surviving in general is progress, because we get, we get more currency each night that we survive. The big thing right now is getting uh, through the silent forest to find Wolf in order to get the key to go into the underground. Well, I should have used the well before I left. Well, oh well. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't do that. Uh, Twitch, no, it was YouTube. YouTube thinks I'm Beyonce, so... Camera vision kills you a bit. I have to do it, yep. So just gonna have to just gonna have to suck it up and deal with it. Or do you mean on the game? In either case, you gotta suck it up, Antiers. My camera or the game camera? Out of curiosity. Because they're both different than normal. <laughs> I think the top down adds to the atmosphere quite a bit. Game camera. Yeah. I like it overall. But yeah, I, I can see. Oh, what is that? Can I kill this? Sky God view. Yeah, it's it's top down. Yep. Chill. Uncle Jay. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Testing out those alerts. At least that one didn't get me. Didn't get me this time. You got potato though, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently. Oh no, I didn't cook the mushroom. Oh no, is there a stove here? Hey bugs, get out of here. There's the guy I murdered. There's where we got the embryo. Oh crap. Mushrooms will go bad. Yeah, there's no stove here. Crap. I completely forgot we got all those. What do you mean locked? I need the key. I literally just came from the other side of it. Uh, crap. Alright, well. That sucks. Wait, wait, wait. There is an oven, but it looks like I can't use it. All right. And switch your badge. I think you can actually choose which badge you use after you've unlocked them. If you were to ask me how, I would not be able to tell you. You can. Oh, you already switched it back. Okay, I see. Because I know some people like the different color badges.
All right, we gotta go cook, cook these mushrooms. Oh, you just click on the badge where you type in chat. Okay. That is, we don't need no stinky badges. Okay, there's the camp. Can't believe I forgot to make those mushrooms. Hopefully the parts for the shovel isn't too expensive. Aren't too expensive. There was a staff, which we've actually sold one of those. Sold like three of them, actually. Staff, um, actual spade part of the shovel. And, uh, tape. You've never watched someone play Scorn completely seriously? <laughs> God, there's so many... Uh, so many gross things in Scorn. Alright, man, the mushrooms are right about to go bad. Look at that. Okay, there we go. Now, do we try to make it all the way back down there? I mean, it still is... We still have some daylight left. Like, I guess we might as well. Here's the well. We're going to heal overnight anyway. Yeah, I don't know. Inventory. I filled the inventory up to take with us in case the uh, store guy spawns over there, but I'm not sure. A Roku app. My giant influence. It's kind of going to suck to come all the way back. Uh, hang on. Repair. You upgrade that? No. Yeah, I guess I'll just take uh, stuff that we super need with us. We're going to need some gas. Nails. Some planks. I think the rags are healing. Okay. I wouldn't sell that stuff anyway, so. Adult entertainer. I think, though, that we can't go through there without a code, though, right? So the one thing that we know of that we can actually get that's not halting progress is the the shovel. So hopefully that guy, uh, or hopefully we have enough to get a shovel from that guy tonight. I do want to search some more around in there. Because maybe that locked door isn't the only way, direction to go. But it looks like that's how you go deeper in. Which what we need to do. We'll see. I wonder if the single-use shotgun is enough to kill the, uh, the moose. Alright, is there any way through up here? Torch went out, yep. Yeah, it's just through the building. Okay. Get some walnuts to distract the moose.
There, now it'll be good enough for one night. I don't know if we can do it. It says hole. I wonder if we can dig those up. Journal doesn't really say anything. It says, um, we don't know how to get to the place where the guy is to get the key, but that the wolf says that he'll help us if we get there. He told me he will help me get the key back. I just need to get through to the other side of the forest and to meet him in the northwestern part of the silent forest. I should explore the surroundings before venturing forth. I do not wish to act too hastily. And then we went in the underground. And the door says 21. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. It's interesting we can flip all the way like far into it. I really want to get that shovel. Yeah, it looks like this is the way. I don't think 21 has anything to do with this. See if we missed anything around here. Got the embryo. Yeah, so to go further in the forest, we have to have the code for this door. Maybe it's this same code, 2346. First when you unlocked. We could try the code to the first door that we unlocked. Um, we can already go into that side. We just gotta go around. What was the first code? I don't remember. March 40th. Man, I don't know about staying this overnight. Seems like a pretty bad idea. Yeah, four something. There was a nine. The third number was a nine. That's what I remember that. It's nighttime. Well, this can be a very bad night. Hmm. It's just said uh, you're saved 100 bit. Don't know how. Here you go. I must return to my hideout before nightfall. Wait, so I can't stay here? Uh-oh. I guess not, because this doesn't have the gas stuff. Oh, no. Oh, God, run. <laughs> I'll bear thing for the 100 bits. Inadvertently calling me a chicken. That one is super infested. Yeah, we need the shovel. That's the only thing so far that we know that we can specifically do is have the shovel to go through the left side of the um, the underground path where the rubble is. And maybe we can use it on those holes too. Gotta get our 10,000 steps in. Let's go. Regardless of your in-game actions, it's true, yeah. You big chicken. You big chicken. Oh god, wrong house. That's the burned houses. Crap. Oh god, this is the latest we've been out. I don't know what happens out here. Nothing good, I'm sure. 
crap. Oh, that's just the shadow of the generator building. Hey! Door opens both ways. What kind of door is this? Okay. Wrong house, wrong house. Like some tag alongs? I would, yeah, actually. Don't take cookies from evil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't take cookies from evil or anything. No, there's another way into the generator room. The whole bottom left wall is destroyed, so... <laughs> yeah, the nights have been pretty chill ever since we um, installed those barricades on the door or on the windows. Pretty chill. Aside from occasionally a ghost opening this door or whatever. Aside from that, chill. Whoops, I didn't mean to. So get a shovel, get a shovel. That's our next goal. Get a shovel. This game. Overconfidence is slow and insidious killer. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Hey! Those Girl Scouts, they're aggressive. They're done hanging outside the entrance of Walmart. They're coming to your house. <laughs> they're selling you cookies, by God. I <laughs> just treat it like Rimworld world repair the walls they're breaking. It's on the other side. <laughs> Do you want to buy some girl? Do you want to buy some Girl Scout cookies? No, no. Thin mints. No, no thin mints. Turn us into thin mints. Hey. What the crap is going on out there? Yeah, I thought the barricade would have been gone a long time ago, honestly. It's holding up pretty well. Almost morning. Oh no, do I not get to loot that? I didn't get to loot the corpse. 
Sad. It's raining this morning. Hey, you got stuff for a shovel? Uh. 450. Crap. So for the shovel is 450 and then we have to find another staff, which we found one by killing one of those guys. So I guess that's what we got to do again. And then tape is 40. Man, that sucks. Um, we can sell them some of the rags and stuff and see what else. Everything is 450 around these parts. Yeah, it's like, like that scene from Oh Brother Where Art Thou. Wasn't this place a geographical oddity? Two weeks from everything. I'm a dapper Dan man. All right, let's see what else we have to sell him. Uh, all right. Hopefully I don't regret any of this, but we need that shovel. Everything was tree fitty. And mints lie though. Still not thin after eating them. Very true. They are true. They will not make you thin. Okay, so shovel blade. And then we're going to need some tape. So now we need to find one of the staffs. So we need to go find one of the cultist guys today and try to kill him if we can. They seem to congregate around the fallen tree mainly. After the edited content? Uh, no, not, not, not really. Not exactly. I mean, it's hard to quantify anyway. So I, I say not exactly, but it's really hard to even know, you know? It's hard to know. Okay, so we need to find a cultist today and try to get a staff from him. I think that's all we needed, right? Uh, shovel. Yeah, we just need the staff thing. Uh, I mentioned it on the update video that I posted on YouTube, and I mentioned it on um, Discord, but I haven't talked about it today. So yesterday, for anyone that didn't hear, really crazy. I never thought they would do this. But yesterday, uh, at TwitchCon, Twitch actually announced that they are going to allow for simulcasting even for Twitch partners. So starting immediately, I can actually now stream on YouTube and Twitch at the same time. I already have the means to do it. I just need to get it all set up and I'll get it set up by the time I do the next RimWorld run. There's a few things I gotta, I gotta do, like get the, get chat combined and stuff like that, but I'll be able to stream it both. You can't combine chats announcements that you guys can see. Yeah, that's against the rules, but I can combine it for me to be able to, to see, so. I never thought they would do that. Yeah, it was really surprising. But they've had some really big streamers decide to just do it to uh, simulcast anyway and just not be a partner at Twitch anymore, but still broadcast everywhere. Okay, so this is where we found some of those guys before. We gotta find one of those to kill. Thank you, Quinto. For shooting. No, I can, I literally can do it. I even contacted partner support to make sure, yeah. Cause I had the same idea as you had like, Wait, what if we already have a Twitch contract that says otherwise? I literally talked to the Twitch partner support after I saw the announcement. 
to confirm that it applies for me and my contract as well, and it does so. And I don't know where to find them. Last time we found them down around that, but I don't, I don't know. The, uh, one of the downsides is that there's a longer delay if I want to stream. Uh, there's a longer delay for the YouTube stream, but still, it should be, it should be fine. And it'll be nice. The VODs will be available on YouTube immediately as well. Yeah, I gotta find one of these cultist guys. It sucks, too, because we killed one. And I wasn't able to loot him because uh, the morning got here too fast. Do you think Wolf resells the things that we sold him? Like, maybe he will sell one of the staffs. Might as well check there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Maybe we could buy one back from him, or maybe he just sells them in general. He does not. It seems like the main unique thing he sells is the toolbox. Okay, yeah, we just gotta keep looking. Streaming chat's already pretty big anyway. Does uh, low latency mode help you at all with yours? You can go to the gear under the, under the stream. Click that and click advance, and there's low latency mode. Some people, it makes it worse. Some people, it helps. We also, yeah, here's the shrine. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we just wander around, hope we find one of these guys during this day. And if not, at least we loot stuff while we're out. Seems like the dogs aren't quite worth killing. It seems like the, um, the amount of money you get from the meat they drop is less than what it takes to repair the board. So, yeah, it's worth a try. Like I said, some people it makes it worse. Some people it makes it better. It's supposed to make it so that there's less delay, but... Yeah, it's always slow on any of the apps or on TV or anything. I don't have a lockpick for that one. Cultists. Maybe they don't like the rain. <laughs> we'll get our cultist socks wet. Oh, wait, I just heard a stick break. Is that... Is that us walking on it? So hard to tell. Sucks that it's raining to... Uncle Jay, they were the 300 bits. Uh, sucks that it's raining today. The dinosaurs are out. They only wear one sock. But they wear it on one of their feet, right? They, we they wear it on one of their feet still, right? Uh, thank you, Uncle Jay. Sometimes that's where they wear it. <laughs> oh, there was one of the bugs here. Interesting.
We left some meat on there. <laughs> Man, I'm not finding them. T Rex said I have a hard time as soon as through this annoying force. Close to bug infested houses. I believe they would as well. Hey, the rain's stopping. Maybe it'll be easier to find these guys. Another, uh, like, little sawmill area. Not really sawmill. A woodcutting area. I'm into this one, though. We're gonna have boards for days. Okay, which direction were those crows? I like they were maybe up and left from here. There's a bug. I'll ask the moose to see a cultist. Excuse me, Mr. Moose. Like a pretty barren spot there. Another lock crate. Yeah, we've been here. This is uh burned houses. Broken tree. I think there were some over there once too. Maybe we should go try to kill one at night. Also, I'm not sure. Can we refuel the lantern? Or do we have to make a new one? Seems like you'd be able to refuel it, but when I went in here and tried to like combine them, it wasn't an option. There's that down tree. I'm not sure what's significant about it. Yeah, if we don't find one of these guys, I'm, I think I'm going to go out and try to find one at night. It's kind of crazy. We're going to have yeah, make new new lantern, apparently. The lantern is basically like a better torch. Longer lasting torch that you don't have to hold. But otherwise, it's about the same. And I guess I need to stop selling little things like that. Until we know for sure we don't need it for something else. Because I sold several of those. Now we need one. You know what? We haven't tried breaking down that northern door. I doubt we can, though. We have a lot of fancy equipment upgrades. Yeah. Let's skip out on the bare necessities. When you played, you didn't go after the lantern so early. I thought it was going to help us in the underground in that silent forest. I didn't realize we wouldn't be able to get to either of them yet. But that's the nature of playing blind. If you want pretentious, welcome in. That's just the way it goes. Yeah, I'm not finding any cultists today. Hmm. The bare necessities. Do, 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 do. This is the main place we see them. And yeah, there's different noise here. They're not here right now. If I stay here. Hmm. 
There's definitely stuff appearing when I'm not looking in that direction, but it looks like boards and stuff. I don't know. All right. Well, uh, we need to drop off the um, uh, the logs. Taking up a lot of inventory space. And then I guess I'll go try to knock down that door while we're looking for cultists. Might as well, I guess. That's going to be a lot of planks and we need it. All right, so straight up north. We'll see if that door is breakable. I doubt it. It says we need a key and it didn't let us lock pick it. So I doubt it's going to let us just bust it down. But we'll, uh, we'll go check. I mean, might as well while we're going in a direction looking for cultists anyway. I call them cultists. I have no freaking idea. <laughs> They're cultists. <laughs> What do they call? I think they call them scavengers when I go to loot their corpses. Scavengers. A Nesbit? Mrs. Nesbit. What do I have a question? If you don't want to. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Uh, yeah, go for it. Depending on what it is, uh, as long as I have time to answer it. Don't mind. Yeah, we need a key. Okay. So the only lead we have right now is that we need um, to make that shovel. Try not to die. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's also the locked things uh, that need lock picks. We'll have to find. We'll have to find those. Yeah, let me know what the question is. Uh, you can always join the Discord too. There's, it's really active, and there's a there's a Rimworld channel in there where people are always chatting. Then click on your other monitor. The game disappears. Is there something you can do to stop that from happening? Um, with most games, you have to play in full screen windowed mode or windowed mode alone. I can't remember if uh, RimWorld has that by default or if you have to do a command line. There's also another thing you can do that um, is run in background. If you go into the RimWorld settings, you can run in background. Unfortunately, you're still able to minimize the game. It'll just continue to run when it's not the main window. Um, but yeah, generally with games like that, you need to run it in windowed or full screen windowed mode. And I can't remember if RimWorld has that by default or not. If it does, that's the option that you're looking for. If it doesn't, there's still a way to, to do it, but you would have to... Um, I know it has windowed mode, but I'm not sure about full screen window. There's another way to do it, but I think you have to do a command line. You can, you can always look that up, of course. Or just look up how to run RimWorld in full screen windowed. And then that combined with always run. Would you add something to the executor? Ex yeah, yeah, the command line thing. I think it's like literally just, just like dash W or something. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I, I did it. Yeah, that meat is just not worth it. You could add dash pop-up window to the launch option as well. Nice swing. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure what else to do other than look for... Look for that... Uh, that item to get the shovel. I don't think so. Yeah, I'll go double check, but I don't think we have the means to craft it. Unless I missed it. I'll double check. Might as well, we're near home anyway. What do you have access to? Torches, bandages, lock picks. We do want to make a couple of those. 
Engine alcohol, chain trap, antidote, board with nails, hot bar upgrade, inventory upgrade, air trap, gas bottle, pistol, Molotov, lantern. Oh, I sold the friggin' rags too. Whoops. Shovel. Yeah, we need one of those uh those branch staff, whatever. Light armor. Oh, that's the shell that's the light armor, not the Okay. We just need cloth for all that. All right, we got the lock picks now to go down to those uh those boxes that we couldn't open, but it's almost night. It's almost night. And we rebarricade this too. I don't know though, because I kind of want to kill one of them. I think we've been just about everywhere. We could check here, see if I missed any spots there. That one's still pretty blank. We definitely went from that log place to this one, so we've been through there a couple times. But, yeah, we'll have to check that after that. Where are we on the map? Uh, we are at the Dry Meadow Hideout at the moment. All right, wait until it's dark, dark. You have returned. That's the brook. Yeah, we went there. So we need the code to get through the metal door to make it to the silent forest, to make it through that, to find the wolf who will know where to get the key so we can use the key to go through the tunnel. The only thing that we've found that stopped us that we know the means of getting through is the, um, is the shovel, so. We have no rags left at all, huh? No, I sold them. Get the the shovel blade. So our lantern's almost out. We can't refuel it. We'd have to buy another lantern. So I guess we chill in here, and if we hear one of those things attacking, maybe we put on the lantern and go out and try to kill it. But our lantern's gonna go out really quickly. Uh, I don't think we can, yeah. Someone in someone in chat confirmed when I said I don't think we can. So unless it's changed since they played, I guess. So the lanterns are just throw away. <laughs> Can't refuel this, throw it out. Yeah, it feels like we're not very far in the... From what I saw on the how long to beat, the average time for this is like 27 hours. It's kind of crazy. We're only like three and a half hours in. <laughs> well, one of the doors just opened.
something weird and green and blinky out there. Build more walls around the house? Yeah, if only I could. I'm so curious what's making that sound. Okay, it's one of those guys. Alright, give me a staff. A rag and a bottle. It's not what I needed. Not what I needed. Another one. Whoa, he's get, got range items? Hey. Throwing rocks at me. Bottle, stone, rag. Bottles and rags, huh? I need one with those with the stick. Ah, uh, Mr. Polivo. Thank you for the two months in Top Hat Rhino. There's a brand new Twitch Prime sub. Oh my god! There's a dog in here! Well, the night's almost over. Uh, thank you, Plebo. Thank you, Rhino. Plebo. Um, that wasn't so bad. Maybe we can actually go out at night. Unless we see something crazy and then get back in. Yeah, he just doesn't sell that, so. Just killing dogs, sleep with horrible sound clips. I don't know. We're here at the very beginning of it. I mean, we have to find the item, right? But it's pretty brutal at the very beginning. Might want to be. Might be glad you missed it. <laughs> for napping. Probably probably for the best. Probably for the best. Okay. Got rags as well. Have I died? I've not died yet. I've not died. Gotta make another one of these.
Okay, so we have this when we need it. I guess let's look for occultists again today. I'm not sure what else to do. Yet to unalive. Like, I guess we just explore while looking for them. It's not like we won't do other th or look at other things while we're out, but. Yeah, we have to turn off the generator before we leave. Yep. Yep. We needed one of the cultists that has the big two handed stick weapon. And we've had two of them. But, uh, I sold them, unfortunately. We're setting these new bear traps all the time. No cultists here. We've seen one there. We saw one at the edge of the woods. We saw one bashing his head against one of these trees. We also have uh, two lockpicks now, so we can open those um, chests or whatever you want to call them. Caches. These. Crates. Maybe one of these will have it in it. I don't know. I'm not sure what's up with the brook either. Maybe that's something that will be revealed later. Like I said, we have a lot of game left, apparently. I died of starvation. So we killed one of the cultists there once. I don't know if they always spawn in the same area or no idea. It's seeming more and more likely that we're going to have to go out and kill them at night. You bet the moose has, has a stick. <laughs> I'm not sure what's up with the brook. Maybe nothing. Here, yeah, cultists, cultists, cultists. They're scavengers. Another crate. Heels. Consumable. Heels. Yeah, there was a there was a room with a code on it at the wedding area too, right? We don't have the code for that either. Stories in general. No, you are you heard the complete opposite, yeah. Like literally when I do story day, I do everything. I read everything. That's why it took my playthrough of uh we did a hardest difficulty playthrough, blind playthrough of um Dragon Age Inquisition. And my playthrough is like 160 hours. Because I read everything. Every poem, every song, every codex entry, every book that we found in an inn. <laughs> everything. Yeah, so when I do a story game playthrough, I try to I try to do all the things, read all the things. Lore on items, all that good stuff. Oh, what is... Well, I thought I might have found something at first, but it looks like it's a dead end. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, uh, no slight taken or anything. It's interesting this is also on the map. Well, I guess it's just part of the wedding thing, right? Do we miss something at the wedding place?
when I was uh, doing that playthrough of uh, Inquisition, people were like, God, hopefully Adam never plays Skyrim on stream. <laughs> Rhetorical, yeah. Who's going to read all the books? What was that? Table. I can't do anything with it, though. There's a chair I can move. That's what the sound was. And I need that friggin' shovel. I didn't like soft lock myself out of a shovel. I doubt it would have done something like that. What's my outfit? It's a giant chicken costume. It's October. <laughs> I just don't have the head on this time because last year uh, doing the event in this room, it got super hot. I ended up with a migraine like every friggin' day because of it. So this year... Skipping that part. Oh man, I thought I might have found a way through this too, but I didn't. Friggin' trees. Yeah, there's a code here, too. Kill the head off, too. No, it's still there. Just, I'm not wearing it. <laughs> it's still there. Read and explore absolutely everything. Yeah, it's going to be a long one, too. Probably longer than Inquisition. Yeah, so this is a, a dead end as well. The only place that's not a dead end that we know of right now... Obviously, unless we miss something, is that we need the shovel. Yeah, isn't wearing a chicken costume normal? No. But yeah, it's, it's just for the Halloween event. The October event. Man. It sucks that I had the thing to make the shovel, and I didn't know that's what it was going to be for, and I sold it. So, there's a door down here with a code. There's a door up north with a code, and there's a door to the east with a code and we can't go anywhere in the underground entrance without the shovel did we explore all the burned out area let's double check I guess uh, uh, uh. that's right I'm a giant chicken literally and figuratively during this time of year. I know there was another cache or two, but we don't have a another lockpick. I think we got everything here though. That was searched. That was searched. Oh my god. The meat doesn't really sell for much, so kind of waste. That was all searched. Yeah. Trees all over the place, but no stick. That's right. So. Yeah, we already searched this area too. Nothing on the pig. We're gone. It's not their fault they went feral. That's true. Yeah. Hmm. He's going to beat the dog. He play fetch with you. 
Uh, you can throw meat for them to run away and eat, but after they're done with the meat, they'll come back after you. You can throw dog meat to the other dogs. Does that sound like... Sound different? That sound like something else was attacking the dog, maybe? I mean, that one sounds normal. We've ran into that one before, but... I swear there's like a different... Be literally another dog sound. Madness, madness. Jesus. Long time YouTube fan. All right, Alos, thank you for coming in. Thank you for coming in. We're doing our Halloween event. So thank you for watching on YouTube. I'm guessing RimWorlds. Usually when people say they come from uh, YouTube, it's like 90% RimWorld, 10% uh, Darkest Dungeon. So I had a meeting with G Fuel yesterday. And they said one of the uh, one of the marketing people found me through Darkest Dungeon, which is interesting. Can I bring that lamp all the way home? <laughs> Where am I? Yeah, so we can't we can't do any more of the underground uh, area without the shovel or with the key without the key. We need the key or the shovel. Man. Being the G Fuel and company, really? Business partnership? Yeah, I'm dead. And uh, I have another meeting on Tuesday. Uh, through Darkest Dungeon? It's awesome. Dismantle stuff? It doesn't seem like it. Other than like... Um, if something's already barricaded, I guess. Sawmill. Looks like the sawmill is just to turn uh, wood logs into planks. I can't believe we haven't found any more of those scavengers out here. There was one that ran away from us. They seem to run away when you attack them during the day. Yeah, I don't know. Convert wood logs to planks, yet. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, the good thing about this game, though, is even if you're not, you don't feel like you're making progress, as long as you survive a night, it's progress made because you get a reputation with the vendor. It does suck that I'm not finding these enemies that I need an item from. I'm going to chase this rabbit. Odd meat. Cookable. Rots over time. Rabbit meat is worth 60? It's way north blocked. Yep. That's what we need. To, we need a key for the north... And I try to lockpick. Kill the wabbit. Kill the wabbit. That's right. If just surviving made a person rich IRL, that'd be nice. Yeah, this way is blocked too. Yep. I'll show you. And you can't use a, uh, a lockpick. You need a key specifically. And I've tried beating down the door too. It also didn't work. We heard a voice in there. There's someone in there. Yeah, the only thing I know of right now is the shovel. And we could have made one like two days ago had I just kept the item, but I was not supposed to know that a staff from a cultist was I would would need to make a shovel. The voice said, Dave's not here, man.
Can I just make it out of a metal pipe? Come on. It's interesting that the odd meat says cookable. So far, we've only been able to cook mushrooms. Wait, what does that sound? Yeah, I think we're just going to have to hunt cultists during the night. And hopefully we don't die. We killed one there before, too. Hmm. Let's go see what this uh, rabbit meat does on the stove, I guess. Probably the Blair Witch. Death so far? No death so far. All right, it's getting a little bit later. The rain is here. On me, can extract 12 essence from it. I don't know why that seems so much crazier because it's only a little bit more than the mushrooms. <laughs> 12 essence or do I want to keep it and sell it? I don't know. I guess we might as well do the essence. But tomorrow we'll be able to get dose number two of this. No idea it's spooky though. Yeah, it is. It has been spooky. Well, yeah, I guess we just try to kill during the night and see what happens. If we die, then... I guess we find out what happens when we die. Foreboding. All right. Games that are really not very scary. Depends on the game, yeah. Overall. But as always, scary is super subjective. See what the devil has to say for spooky season? A triple devil. You can't sleep, yeah. Let's see. Alright, triple devil. Let's see what it is. Thank you for showing me your endowment. No problem. You always want your wood to be awakened. Also true. Come on, big boy. Put your head in my bush so I can stab you in the family jewels. The crap. Oh, it's from Shadow of Mordor. Okay. <laughs> I was hiding in a bush waiting for an orc to come by so I could stab them. Like, what the crap is that? <laughs> All right, it's nighttime. Basically. No, we can still use the oven, so it's not night night. That been a good granny quote, yeah. <laughs> Did you almost use Granny for that summon? Sit there and have this completely calm reaction. Anything scary happening? Depends on the game. Like I said, that's not how it was during Outlast 2 or Visage. That's for friggin' sure. I mean, just look at the exclamation jump 2 clip. Look how I was before anything happened. <laughs> I was definitely... All I was definitely on edge for that. Yeah, that clip. Got done watching the Scorn playthrough last night? That's awesome. Yeah, thank you for watching it. It's so crazy within like, it was like something like 30 seconds after posting it, someone put a comment letting me know no one would want to watch it. So I'm glad that at least, at least a few people 
or proving them wrong. So, scored. I'm glad I played it overall. It wasn't like um, it wasn't something super. Supr well, I mean, there was a couple of super surprising parts, but it was it was good overall. It was worth playing. The bunker was meh. Remakes, yeah, I almost I almost bought one of those. Yeah, Humble was having a sell on them, and I almost bought the first one. I know even the first HD remake remake is a little older now, but it was on sale for like seven bucks or something. Yeah, we'll get through those too for sure. Nice clip. <laughs> Okay, so it is nighttime for real. Put our lantern on and let's see what happens. Love that clip. Stay close to the house, just in case. What's going on in the well at night? Are the cultists scared of the rain? Come on, where are you? I need your sticks. What is that? Follow it? Oh, man. What if I can't remember my way home? Ah! There's no following it. There... Follow me. <laughs> this is the only night where I'm gonna get those cultists attacking. What the crap? Whoa, what's happening there? Wait, why is it red inside the house? Hang on, go in there. question mark thanks maybe we can take that to wolf tomorrow well you're not one of the ones with the big stick you're the one with the stones jerk bring your brother with a stick it's interesting that I'm gonna drink it screw it Okay, it just means that we can drink from it. It's almost morning. Are we really not going to get the stick again? Oh, that's him! No! <laughs> Crap! Reminds you of uh, the, mu the music room. Reminds you of RuneScape for some reason. Yeah, come on. So we have something we don't know what is. Value 20. Question mark. Short end of the stick again. <laughs> I really don't know what to do to progress other than get a shovel. That's the main thing we need. Don't judge the savages by their stick size. Hmm. 
Let's see if we can cook the question mark. <laughs> Twenty-five essence. Whoa. Oh, we can get another perk now. Once a day, you'll be able to heal yourself by standing near an electric light source. Once a day, you'll be able to learn your current location on the map. Be able to heal myself by eating mushrooms. Uh, let's do the heal, I guess. He sells shovel? No, that's just the head of the shovel. We already bought that. We need the other parts to make the shovel. Oh god, what? It's luring me in with these rocks. Oh yeah, shiny rocks. I want those. Rest your ear against the keyhole. I can hear a faint voice throughout the howling wind. It sounds familiar. It seems to be coming through the keyhole. Someone is calling me. The witch. Adam and, Adam and Gretel. <laughs> Come. Come to me. Oh, I wonder if the door is going to be open now in the daytime. Maybe we just needed to level up a second time. I think I went the wrong way. Uncle Jay, thank you for the bits. <laughs> Uncle Jay. So wait, the last shiny thing was here. Does that count as a death, or is this like a... Press you to access the active skill menu. Moth. Once a day. Weird, weird. Yeah, so that happened after we took the second... Oh, God. The second dose of mushrooms. Okay. I don't think that was a real death, yeah. I wonder if that's open now, though, during the day. But yeah, he sells the shovel blade. But we already have that. We need this. We need the stick for the, for it. D yeah, that does make anyone hallucinate hard. Yeah. So we can cook the mystery item. And more mushroom. 480 for the third dose. Wow. Yeah, I don't have the shiny. And I also, we were using a flashlight that we don't own, so... Weird. Uh, let's go down there today and see. Uh, is there anything I want to leave behind in case we actually get to explore? Next time on Adam Ball Z, drug abuse. Do an old Dax. What are you looking for? From World Clip, it might be exclamation food. Or plants, or exclamation rice, or exclamation corn. I can't remember. That's one of the things you're looking for. Uh, all right, let's go to the underground and see if that's now open to us. Remember that? 
Yeah, maybe that. Maybe that's it. Oh crap! Hey, I was looking at Rimworld commands. Not my fault. Stepped on the poisonous mushroom. Okay. So there's the... No, no, that's not it. Hang on, what? Where was the path that needed the shovel? Up here and on the left, I think, right? It has odd meat on it. Yeah, let's take that. Or is it just not as good as Twitch? Or streams, it's not. Yeah. But, uh. Yeah. Not really. Mainly, mainly it's because of. A lot of it's because of viewer count, though. Like when I streamed RimWorld on YouTube, I got like a third of the viewers. Usually, with the RimWorld, we get like 800 to 1,000 viewers here. And on there, I got like. I think, I think we ended up getting like 300. This place slightly different than when we were in it last time. I didn't even see the shovel area. An Icarus series? Icarus? Wait, wait. Like what Icarus? Like Kid Icarus? <laughs> like retro? Or How many total views do we have on YouTube now? I don't remember. 18 million or something. I don't remember. Something, something around there. It's still locked, so. Press our ear, look through. We've done this before. Yeah. Area has changed. I don't know that we're going to be able to use the shovel. Okay. Well, that's really weird. So now, now I don't know because I mean, maybe we can use the shovel on those bug holes, but the area here that was blocked by rubble to use the shovel is now gone. But we got meat. <laughs> Does Wolf also sell a mushroom? Hmm. Are bugs enabled? Yes. Yes, they are. Shovel wall. Also, yes. Okay, so that place changed after the vision. We got the odd meat that we need to take back home. So where should we go now then? We need a key to unlock the north building. We need a code to unlock the wedding building. We need a code to unlock the forest building in the southeast. Yeah, let's check the journal, see if there's anything new after that last event. Nope, it's still just the 21 door.
Yeah, but it's different now, yeah. It's not there anymore. That's what I'm saying. That place changed after the vision. The shovel place is not to the left. There's nothing to the left. There's not even a path that way anymore. And now there's a new path on the right that leads to a wall of meat. Where do we find this one? Go back over here. Yeah, that place changed after the vision with the flashlight. That's what that's what I was thinking too. Yeah, 1987 code. That's where I'm headed now to try that. That's why, why I was wondering. I was trying to remember if we found that in the burned out house or over in this area or on one of the machines. I don't remember. We're going to go try it though. My wife has redeemed Granny. Find dear old Granny used to say. It's like a skin colored moo moo. All right. You'd wear it. <laughs> so we're going to go try 1987 at this door. Wait, was there just something there? <laughs> just the wind, Daniel. Not that one. We can already go to the other side of this one. So there's one other place with a code that we could try. That's, that's the other one, yeah. Yeah, we can see what the Molotovs do to it. You're blind to the game too, yeah. No worries. Ray Charles doesn't appear to be doing anything to it let's let it burn out and see and we're gonna go try to use that code on the other door holy crap these burn forever nah other door I remember that has a code is just the one at the wedding area, right? The one up north doesn't have a code. It has a key. 
miss something earlier? Yeah, I hope not. I hope not. I doubt it, though. I don't think it'd be so uh, widely phrased if there was a way to soft lock yourself forever. Or hard lock, I guess. We've probably just missed something somewhere. Soft locks are fun. Yeah, I don't I don't think that's going on. Like there's also possibility of more paths through this. We've already been around there. There's nothing around there. Yeah, I don't know anymore. This game on a recent Humble Bundle? I'm not sure. I'd... Maybe. It might have been, actually. We've tried the default d codes on other doors, yeah. We try it on the box near the house, yeah. Let's do that. That is another thing with a with a code on it. Maybe like a year ago. I know it has been on a humble bundle before, but yeah, I don't know when. <laughs> Maybe the key has, or the boost has the key. I mean, you never know. Stick. It really sucks I've had two of those sticks, but now I'm not so sure that that's what's gating us from progress anyway, because that way in the tunnel is no longer there. So the only thing I can think of with a shovel right now would be to try to dig up the hole area. The moose just has the way home. Maybe we can ride the moose through the woods. Stick dealer that moose. Oops. Nope, wrong one there too. Where the crows go? So far it seems like the crows are always on lootable bodies. Any pass through this? Oh, there's a. I see a corpse. Okay, there's apparently a corpse there. Bread, scrap metal, bandages, alcohol. You f you could just find a lantern right outside the starting home. That would have been nice. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Crap. 
Oh god! Oh no, that dog's stronger! I didn't realize! That's our first death. I just thought it was a normal dog. I just hit it twice and I was like, alright, I'm done. <laughs> alright, well, we got our first death. First of many, probably. Yeah, that dog was way stronger. I should have looked at the bottom. There's a there's a health meter for the dogs on the bottom. All right. Anyway, there's an that, there's a spot with some things we haven't gotten. So my first death. Oh, that's my old that's my old body there. <laughs> Dead huge dog. Oh, we gotta go cook that meat. It's about to expire. Crap. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. Dead huge dog. Well, it's huge dog. Yeah, I, just, I didn't even really realize it was a different kind of dog. Also, to try to circle strafe it some more. Oh, well. By the way, I gotta cook some meat. Fear and hunger. I don't know that one. Dead huge dogs. Shall you or something was what? Eating dogs? Uh, no, not this time. What do you mean, not this time? What's that? Oh, freaking mushrooms. Oh, it's just a tree. Prepare to be asked question. Oh no. Can't you just answer the question instead? <clears throat> I'll ask pretty close. Yeah, I've not heard of that one. Carbide. Maybe the 14 months, Carbide. That's almost full calendar year, that. Uh, very much appreciated. Go ask your father. Well, no codes or anything. We got a few items, a few mushrooms, some extra meat, a new kind of dog enemy, but not anything that really progresses where we can go. Okay. Anything over here? No, and this just connects up to that house. I mean, there was the broken down tractor, but there's anything we could do with it. Is there the other corn maze? Yes. That's where I was earlier. There's a door there with a number lock, and we don't know the key. We don't know the code. Now I can go try to zigzag. Oh, another rabbit! I can go zigzag through it and see if we can find another uh, 
another area like we just did with that one. Maybe that's worth trying on the next day. Okay, what else? Uh, wolf camp. Let's see if he has any other gossip. Kill the wolf. <laughs> hey, cultist. Hey. Hey, come back. Come back. I just want to talk. Wait, where'd you go? No. Did you go up or down? Oh my god. Had to have gone up. Oh. There he is. Back. How come you'll, like, try to kill me at nighttime? Not during the day. Oh, God. Where do you go? Must return to your hideout. It's becoming night. Crap. Okay. Anyway. Uh, meat, meat. Generator, yeah, we'll turn it on, yeah. Make sure I get this meat cooked. Generator already have a night of fuel in it. Let's go ahead and grab fuel out of here just in case. Oh, we already have some, okay. not have another night in it. I don't think that was the cultist that had the stick anyway. The ones with the sticks have like this big two-handed swing they do. Although that one was just run away, so. Yes, yeah, recording. Attempt number one. Excellent. Yeah, I'll look at it after the stream for sure. I guess we're going to try to explore out tonight again. Just like right around the house again. YouTube videos, real guides. Oh yeah, my pleasure. Thank you for watching. They were coming over here. Let me know. All right, let's go ahead and repair our board with nails. We need two rags for that. All right. Uh... All right now, let's turn that on. I don't want to waste any fuel, especially we're going to be out of... Well, I mean, I guess we need the house to be lit up so we can go back there. It's saved. Yeah, thank you. Or where it's safe, not safe. Saved. Okay. Wait, what if we go... What if we go to the ritual site at night? Is that where the red stuff was spawning? Or maybe even the shrine? Oh, God. I have no idea what I do about this red bull crap. Hey, you have a stick? I don't think he has a stick or else he'd be hitting us with it. He has a rag, though. Okay. Maybe the two-handed stick ones are rare? I'm not sure. 
Hello? What? Okay. Thanks for that. If we can get to that or not. I mean, let's screw it. Let's just go. Where is that area? Here. Nothing different here at night? Oh, God. Well, I mean, that doesn't happen during the daytime, so I guess that's different. Hello. Oh. dog <sighs> oh time to the light in there Something is moving it. Very hard to find six in the forest, yeah. Stop complaining about that. But yeah, I mean... Who's knocking? Alright. Where? Oh, God. Who is it? We invite you to a celebration behind the cornfield in the southern edge of the dry meadows. 6481. Progress. 6481. Man, we had that knocking on the door like four nights ago. I didn't go out. <laughs> we could have gotten that so long ago. That was like literally like two hours ago. Maybe more. Children of the corn. All right, we have somewhere to go tomorrow. 6481. Yeah, the wedding. 6481. Alright, cool. Yeah, we could have had that forever ago. Alright, almost morning. Almost morning. on you crazy diamond pink floyd i believe so yeah same exact note uh i'll be right back i'm just gonna check on the thing i just agreed to really quick uh and then yeah we'll go go down to the wedding area i guess
I actually think we got, we had the knocking on the door on like night three or something. Yeah, so that was a long time ago. All right. Well, go see what's up with this. Uh, we got to repair. We got to turn off the generator. We got to repair our weapon. Um, I think we're just going to keep saving aside from the mushroom. Yeah, let's just keep saving. We we'll get bigger uh, inventory or something like that. But for now, yeah, just keep saving. Cook the food. Oh, wait. Whoops. I didn't get it from. Second weapon. Can't really afford the stuff for it yet. They're like 450 per part. So like this isn't a weapon. This is just the frame, which is 450. And then the barrel, which is 450. Even human. We don't know. Yeah, he's wearing a mask. Second plank. Maybe, yeah. That way, since we can't repair while we're out. Just in case sort of thing. Uh, We would need some more nails now. One one nail. It's not going to be as strong as our main one because the main one's upgraded, but better than nothing. And then we want to take our lantern with us. We'll take the bandages and the healing. Right, uh, yeah, new spot. Oh, can we make this yet? Yes, we can. Oh, but we need to upgrade the workbench again, which we haven't found, whatever that is. Girl or something. Weird posture, maybe a puppet or something. Wearing mittens. All right. Oh, generator, generator, generator. Almost forgot until I heard it. All right. Got a wedding to attend to, I guess. The crap is that going to be in this this game? So we're running around with two planks with nails sticking out and a handful of pills. <laughs> That's about it. And there's a lantern in our in our backpack, we'll call it. What else do you need? Water? No. Food? Don't be stupid. We just inject glowing mushrooms directly into our veins every few days. It's all the food we need. The only sustenance we need. Is that a lantern in your backpack? You're just happy to see me. <laughs> yeah, I'm really curious to see what's in here. Was the code 4861 or something? I mean, we can just look at it again, but. The story from the latest Resident Evil. Right. What do people do? Their, their heals. Consumable heal. Alright, here we are. Mushroom life? Yeah. Yeah, Resident Evil is all about the the mushroom. There's definitely another dog in that maze somewhere. Look, there is an opening right there. We'll have to look there for items too, but let's just get, get in here. Whoa. What?
Corpse of the Bride. Uh oh. <laughs> um. She was dead when I showed up. She was already dead. If they ask, if they get upset, you guys have my back, right? There's no footage saying otherwise. 6481. 6481. She was like that when we showed up. I don't know how she got that way, but... Happy to stay her alive. Thwack. <laughs> Nothing under it. Man, I killed the bride. I came in and killed their pet pig. The pig was stronger than the dogs. My favorite music. Are we the scavenger? Rusty chapter overgrown with bunches of thin roots. Do we have to have a key for that one? Man, I don't have enough. Yeah, look how strong that barricade is at the bottom there. one's barricaded. This one's not barricaded. We can't just open it from the outside. So on Scorpio. Too strong to dismantle. Am I going to have to bring stuff to break it open? I mean, there's no more progress this way. We have to get in there.
You can... You can rebuild the fences. Wow. Oh. Okay. It let me that time. I was trying just a second ago. It didn't seem like it was going to let me. Ah, you know what? We better just keep that on. Enough of that, okay. Still banging though? No, that's the music. Wanna dance? No. I'm good, thank you. bangs she bangs she moves no more i don't have any more uh Any more weapon I have, I have one more swing which is not good maybe i shouldn't kill that guy or the pig you know uh-oh and he's gone something just moved the light over there What the crap? Oh man, I used all my durability. I have nothing else. God. I'm gonna have to go repair my boards. I'll be back to the wedding soon. You just hang and just chill out, okay? I'll be back. Whoa, 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 what's crap? I actually went to the steam menu and I'm gonna die to a moose. Music just stopped suddenly. Alright, I'll be back. I gotta repair my board and chill out.
She suddenly felt the icy hand of death upon her. I'm not quite dead. Taking a coffee break. I'm not dying. Yeah. <laughs> I should have saved the Molotov for. Although my luck, I would just throw it down and then run through it. I think I'll go for a walk. I'll be back. Ugh. Yeah, I should not have... Um, I wonder if you had to kill those, though, to spawn her. Maybe you just had to go back in after going out. We'll go get our uh, weapons repair and then we'll go back. We might have to wait till a new morning, huh? Not sure. Video here to look. Thank you, thank you. It helps out a ton. I appreciate it. Hey, watching that and uh, watching over on YouTube in general. The video's working. All right, uh, so we might not have, we're not, might not have nails to f repair it. We got plenty of wood in there. Fair item. Yeah, we need nails. So let's go see if Wolf has some for sale. I know he does. Take him the meats. I should be enough to buy some nails. Playing satisfactory on the other monitor. Nice. Pave over the world. It's like my late game in RimWorld. Just pave the world. So I've noticed that he has a health bar when I hover over him. Show item. Oh, I can show him the invitation. Excellent meat. An invitation to a wedding party. The wolf snorts with laughter. His putrid saliva landing on my face. It's an invitation to that house in the southern edge of the dry meadows. Music there has been playing nonstop since I remember. Day and night. A never-ending wedding. <laughs> wolf throws the invitation back at me. It's wet with spit. Have fun, meat. Just remember to hide that disaster of a face. Or it's no dancing for you. What a jerk. He has a health bar. Huh. Hmm. Alright. Uh, so we need some nails. Try hitting him? No, I'm not. I'm not going to at this stage. <laughs> Doesn't seem to have a rifle. He's a giant wolf creature. Well, I mean, it's the same height as me, but. Get these repaired. You can upgrade it twice. Increased weapon durability would be really nice. We need one of those metal. Everything's so expensive. Everything's so expensive. Um, maybe... Oh, man, it's almost nighttime. We're not going to be able to get down to the wedding again today. So we're just going to have to chill here for night. I'm trying to get those nails for free. <laughs> yeah, no. I think he would kill us. We're risking blowing the house down. Exactly that. All right, well, uh, tomorrow we take the two boards down there. And we try to kill the bride, the actual bride. Oh, 
There we go. We got uh, three and a half nights of the generator. Doesn't have a gun on his back in the conversation menu yet. He has a lot of gun parts, too. He's well good for heavy wounds. So I guess tonight we literally just hide in the house. We don't try to kill anything unless it breaks in. We need to save durability on these these items. And then the reputation with the trader that we get for surviving the nights, we're currently saving up to try to get uh, other important things like inventory upgrades. Uh, he has 100 rep a night, and then we also spend 50 of that on a mushroom. Look on your stick farming. Yeah, I don't even know if we need that anymore, honestly. I mean, I still would like to get it to see what I, we can use it on, but the path that I was going to use that on is now no longer there. Are you winning? We made some progress, so I'm going to go with yes. Okay. It seemed like it changed after the last mushroom visit, uh, vision, so... Eat some mushrooms and we crashed a wedding. All right. Tomorrow we're gonna go kill the bride. But she deserves it. She has a really big mouth. I don't know if you saw. You can't just say that. True. She does. She has a huge mouth. <laughs> How much damage was it doing? I think it hit us twice and it took a full bar. So maybe we can survive three. Three hits, maybe. Oh my god, what a quote. Ugh. I tell you that I got a comment like months ago on one of the random Darkest Dungeon VODs. I was like, wow, I really thought I was going to like this channel. And then out of nowhere, he just go starts going on a sexist rant. I was like, what the crap is this person talking about? I could not figure out for the life of me what they're talking about. I clicked through the VOD. I was like, what? I'm not sexist at all. I have no idea. I even asked them. I replied and I was like, can you let me know what you're talking about or the timestamp or anything? And they never came back and replied. And I was like, all right. <laughs> like, I have no idea. Very weird. Snowblind. 51 months. Was there a troll? Very, very possibly. A long time, Snowblind. Very much appreciated. The maker of the stream music, that's right. The progenitor of tunes. What I guess Wayne would say. The progenitor of the melancholic melody. Melody. Melody? Melody. Yeah, that was a really weird one too. That was like, what, a month ago or someone posted on there and was like talking about how I was like borderline. They were, they felt odd because I was borderline unhinged going off on someone in chat and I was like I don't think you know what unhinged means uh, good noodling B Darkson 2 took you only about 200 hours nice congrats Phil congrats congrats well this is a very chill night we're not making any noise we're not going anywhere uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It was, it was very weird. 
We will see them. No idea. I get weird comments on YouTube all the time. Like I said, literally like within 30 seconds of posting the scorn video, uh, someone down voted it and then made a comment that was like, I'm just letting you know, no one on YouTube wants to watch long form content. Okay. Thank you for the update. I... Something just killed a dog out there. That's weird. You saw that one? Yeah. And the funny thing is, the the Scorn video was like one of my most watched horror videos already. Like the very next day, it had 1,200 views. <laughs> like, Thank God for that guy. Here I wasn't thinking I enjoyed them. Oh God, the door's opening. Hey, I don't want to, I don't want to use up durability. Leave me alone. Day 11. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, we're going to get the mushroom and then that's it. We're going to save. Wait, how much is the pipe? I lied. We're going to get the mushrooms in the pipe today. You only watch them? Yeah. And like, I don't know. People can't understand that other people like I have both, so it doesn't matter. Like it just literally you just watch whichever one you like better. It doesn't matter to me, but I have both of them on there because different people uh, like. Okay, that's completely upgraded. Uh, watching, you know, edited versus VOD or both or whatever. But some people just can't understand that other people like watching in a different way than they do, which is. But yeah, they're both there. Yeah, I had another confusing one, and not in a negative way, but there was another confusing one this morning where after the update video, someone commented on it and was like saying that I should have never stopped posting VODs in the first place, and I was like I, I, I didn't stop. And I always forget the generator until I hear it. Generator, yeah. I always forget. Uh, yeah, that's okay. It's okay as far as dinner goes, yeah. Hopefully it stops soon. Does it matter if you watch it more than once? It does, yeah. So there's a couple of different... For anyone that's wondering, there's a couple of different stats that really matter on YouTube. And one of them is actually percent viewed, and you can watch over 100%. And what that means is you've watched it more than once. And it actually ha helps average up. So if you end up liking it and you want to rewatch an episode, or like... Uh, w one reason why some of the long-form videos did so well is cause people would put them on and they would fall asleep to them. And they would play all the way through. And then so the next day they would come back to it and they would go to where they left off. And then they would watch another hour and then fall asleep. And then they would, come, they would keep doing that. And so I had some of my early long form videos actually have over 100% watch time. And so the algorithm was really pushing it. That's not me, I don't do that. <laughs> There's a lot of people that do that. So it actually helps out the algorithm a lot because it shows over 100% watch time. Exactly what you, yeah. <laughs> yeah guilty i mean i i do the same kind of stuff or like um like earlier i was watching a vod on youtube of warhammer um and i'll get up and like i won't pause it i'll like get up and use the restroom and you know get food or something and come back and then i'll go back to where i left off i don't know why i don't always pause it that actually helps with their watch time too the old youtubes One of these days, we're going to have to try to kill that moose. All right, here we go. We're back to the wedding. Let's see if two boards full of nails is enough to kill an evil demon bride ghost thing. Watching the Twitch end up somehow... Yeah, <laughs> Minoc. Minoc still says that every now and then when he's here in the offline chat. It'll be like, just checking in, see my hours. Don't ban me, Oswin. Now, Lurker, thank you, Caldeer. It helps out a lot, yeah. Not just my stream, so I appreciate it. They were helping out. All right, let's go.
The radio's back on. Where is she? Oh no, what if I screwed it up? You, yeah, you can drag chairs and tables, yeah. Where is she? Oh, that's the dead pig. Uh, thank you. Rika, thank you for the 21 months. Thank you, Caldeer. Thank you again. So where did she go? Hopefully she didn't get stuck out there chasing me or something. That would suck. Surely not though. There's no other option on the metal door, really. Why isn't she here? You going? Our time work doing tonight. I'll swear everything we're hanging out. Have a good night. Now these are all barricaded. Killed a dog, we heard. She came all the way to my house. Yeah, this is very bizarre. And we're like running through our lantern. Oh, I hope I didn't like screw it up or something. Oh, look, there's another way through. Not that, that matters. I feel like if she was chasing us, we would have found her on our way back in. <laughs> the cycle continues. Uh, I hope we didn't, because then we would be soft locked. Maybe it's only... Yeah, maybe it was later in the day. Maybe she's going to come out at night. I mean, we weren't here at night, though, for sure. Because we actually made it home before night. Yeah, I really thought she was going to be there again. Freaks really do come out at night. Thought maybe turning off the radio would do something, but it doesn't go off. It went off last time, but it doesn't anymore. The music sounds like she's still here. <laughs> the ambience. The ambience. Examine potatoes. Potato sack.
See, before we could open that. <sighs> okay. I don't know. We just hear her? Yeah, nothing new in the journal. The music doesn't go off anymore like it did before. Yeah, and the doors are now locked. I, I don't know. Hmm. I wonder if she did come to the house. But something was outside the house and killed a dog last night. Yes, I can't go out there anymore. Yeah. The door's locked now, too. And now the windows are barricaded, so I can't jump through those anymore, either. Something killed a dog outside the house last night. Let's go back up there. Just to see. If nothing else, we can just come back here anyway. I don't know what... Uh, I think there's streamers for the wedding or something like that. Some kind of streamer type thing. Streamer like you? No, 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 not that kind of streamer. You know what would have been amazing? If she ran out here and the moose killed her. <laughs> that would have been fantastic. Chambers considered walls? Sometimes. I mean, I would have stayed and fought the first time, but we were out of durability. She's waiting in our bed. Yeah, we used to go in there where they were dancing, yeah, but now all the doors that we were able to go through are locked. Where's the crow's com sound coming from? So far, the crows have showed us, like, where new corpses are. Can't tell where that was, though. And uh, the, w the windows are also barricaded where we could jump through them before. But let's go up to the house and check the perimeter. And see if there's a dog corpse or maybe she's hanging out there. Or knows. Stevie GB, 17 months. Stevie GB. Doesn't seem like that long. Uh, thank you for the, re uh, the resub. You need support. Much love to Stevie Jeevy. That's a good Halloween name. I got the Stevie Jeevies. Huh. Weird. It's an option. When I when I did that, it said that um, we didn't have anything strong enough to get rid of the barricade. Yeah. It's really weird. As we were we fought the the boss or whatever you want to call it there the night before i thought it would just be there still or again or whatever i don't see a dog corpse yeah because yeah i tried to do it the night before and it's like eric it's too strong to just dis to dismantle or some something along those words Oh, that must have been what happened. The dog got in the bear trap. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not sure. 
Other than just going back the next day, but... I really thought the radio would spawn her again, but... It just doesn't go off anymore. Like, it, the off button doesn't seem to work. Hmm. Okay, and it's probably getting too late to really make it back there and do anything again, so I'm, I'm not sure what to do with the rest of this day, then. Yeah, I mean, we didn't really take much with us, either, so... Uh, some stuff we might want to sell in the morning. Flare. Bread. Or one day? I don't know. I don't know. So far, there's not been anything that kind of soft locked like that, so I'd be surprised, but I mean, there's always a chance. Go back to the radio, we're digging the song anyway. We will be back at it, yeah. Alright, so what do we do with the rest of this night in the meantime, then? I don't want to waste our durability. But it's like a long time till night. I don't want to just hang out here. Screw it, let's make our way back. I mean, it's getting, like, afternoon already, though. Can you, like, skip the day at the bed? I haven't tried that. <laughs> that would be kind of nice, though. Yeah, it's already getting towards the evening. I guess we might as well just wait and try the next day. But I'm not sure. Like, what else can we do there? If she doesn't spawn again. Because that's our only... Uh, only way forward at the moment that we can tell. Alright. Uh, yeah. Wait till night. Start the generator. Hang out till morning. Go back to the wedding place. And hopefully it's working. My concern would be that I bugged out her pathing somewhere, but you would think she would reset like when the when the night thing happens. Everything else resets, right? I mean, I don't know if pathing resets and everything, but enemies disappear, so. Maybe she's only there during night? Now, I don't know. <laughs> I guess that's an option. If we go down there and she hasn't spawned, we just hang out until nighttime, see what happens. Worst case scenario, we die and we come back the next day and get our stuff back, you know? So, not the end of the world. But. We still haven't gotten a stick. Surely we'll get another chance at a stick. Bedtime? Yeah, but our, our bedtime is hanging out in a corner. Just hanging out in the corner. Holding a board. And hoping nothing comes in. So far at night, we've only had the scavenger guys show up, the dog, and whatever that red mist is that we can't really do anything about. And then I think we had that perk thing happen, too. The, yeah, the shadows perk. Or quirk, whatever. It's not really a perk. All right.
we're still really far away from the third dose of that. Yeah, yeah, you're out of breath. Can you move the bed over in front of it, you would think? All right. We wait. We wait. Man, I guess I should have just... I mean, we didn't have enough, though. There was no way. We had, like, one more swing. And she had, like, probably eight hits or something left until she was dead. Good thing this uh, stove gas doesn't run out. I think this guy should bottle that gas and take it with him. All those empty uh, gasoline canisters. But I, we are playing dark wood. Dark wood. Atmosphere horror game. With a, kind of an interesting top-down graphic setup. Yeah, if, if we can't do anything else, we're going to check the wedding thing. If she doesn't spawn... We'll wait till the evening. She still doesn't spawn, then I guess we Yeah. Check some other other things again, but you do horror. Well, this one isn't like jump scare horror. It's not also it's also not um like uh I guess because of the graphics, it's not really like gore or anything either, you know? Definitely not like scorn. It's definitely not like Outlast or something like that. This is more so far like a creepy story game. Yeah, and right now we're just waiting till daytime. We could go out and survive a little bit. We have a couple times. But I don't want to use up any of our durability. That sounds like a scavenger, maybe? I'm a choice 2020 and it was free on Epic Games Store at 1.2. Yeah, I think the game was what, like four or five years old, maybe? Five years? Waiting on the morning. <laughs> There is a dog out there again. But I don't hear the uh, the bride. Doubt it would come all the way up here anyway. It's three on single point as well. Thought you got it. I haven't played it yet. Too spooky for you. Alright, here comes the morning. I think we can get through the door right before morning again. Man, this would suck. Like, I mean, take, take all the horror stuff out of it and just having to stand oh oh having to stand in this corner for an entire night just stand there no food no drink no bathroom make no noise just stare longingly at a bed Gotta be getting close to daytime. Come on. Yeah, that music's coming now. We're good. All right. Another night, another mushroom. 
D12. Okay. The world is your bathroom. <laughs> Oh, let's well, show him the... Oh, you can't. Okay. All right. Uh... So tomorrow we can get the fabric if we want. All right, uh, turn off the generator, make our way down to the wedding venue and hope it works this time. If not, hang around that general area until uh, evening. Gore, most modern horror is gore. It's hard to find. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of different horror genres for games and for uh for movies, of course, but. There's some pretty good ones that don't have any, any gore. Yeah, most most of them are either gore or jump scare or both, yeah. This one is not. Or like Scorn, where the, the entire game is literally just, just gore. You're playing inside of gore, pretty much. Mary, Mary, Quinn! They were the three months. Boo? Question mark. Mary Barry Quinn has a stream moment that I will always remember. While playing Gord. <laughs> yeah, so for anyone that didn't watch Gord, the entire playthrough is up on YouTube in 4K. Uh, it, was, it was decent overall. It had some bugs. If we didn't have any of the bugs, it would have been a really great game. But um, we were giving out names. Just I would ask a question. I was like, all right, the first person to type um, a food in chat is the next character instead of doing like a queue sort of thing. And some people's streams are behind, so they tried to start preempting and guessing what the next question was going to be. And uh, uh, Mary Barry Quinn guessed uh, guessed the answer to a question that they hadn't heard yet, and their stream was like 15 seconds behind. So, good job, good job. And then I think I got your character killed. So sorry about that. Spoilers, spoilers. All right, I'm back. Where are you? Barricade is too strong to dismantle. And God, I wish I just killed it that first night. What the crap? Yeah, I think we already looked. Double check though. Nothing in the shelf. Can't click on the bed. We're gonna examine potatoes. That does us no good. Oh, I didn't open that last time. Nice. I actually thought I opened both of those. Apparently I didn't. Potato. Yeah, I don't understand why she's not spawning again, like... Try dying to see if it... Yeah, that's that's what I'm curious about. If we're actually softlocked. Just anyone that knows the game... Like, that's just a legitimate question. Are we softlocked or, or not sort of thing? Because I don't think we're doing anything different than what we did to spawn it before. Not softlocked, okay. What? What are we?
Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the Silent Force building for sure, but... Seems so weird that this area is now... Like, she's not attacking us. I thought the radio would have something to do with it. Hmm. Should I, I don't think so. Then I think we'd be able to loot our corpse or progress or whatever. I don't know, man. Yeah, I'm going to check here at night. Because last time, what spawned her is after we came in from that back area where they were dancing. Which is like back here. Hmm. Well, yeah, I didn't... I wasn't... Okay, well, that sucks. I wasn't I wasn't asking for that kind of answer. So I was trying to be really careful how I asked, but Ever play 4X games? Yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> lots and lots. All right, well, I guess I'll stop looking for her since I know that now. I asked no. I, all I said is yes or no am I soft locked? That's it. We go then. Warhammer qualifies 4x. The overworld for Warhammer is 4x. Yeah. The overworld for for it is 4x, and the battles are RTS battles. Yeah, I played tons of Civilization in. In fact, there's a really good Humble Bundle deal right now. If you go to Exclamation Humble, it has, like, Civilization... I think it's, like, two, three, four, five, and six full editions for all of them. For, like, 15 bucks and some other Sid Meier's games as well. There's a, there's a really good Sid Meier's deal. And if you go to that link, uh, it's an affiliate link, you can actually click on how you uh, distribute your money from it. So you can... You can choose to give, like, a bigger amount to me or a bigger amount to charity or whatever. Um, good deal going on at the moment. Especially if you've been waiting for, like, Civilization 6 to get, uh, to get better, which it, that's, that's the case with all the Civilization games in my experience. It's like, when 5 came out and I tried it, I was like, wow, this is not as good as 4, I'd rather just keep playing 4. And then after a couple of DLCs and updates, um, it's like, wow, 5 is, is great, it's better than 4 now. And then when six came out, I was like, man, this is just not as, just not as good as five. But now six seems to be in, in, in good shape. Okay, so. All right, all right. So now I'm trying to think of what we do next since uh, the wedding thing is now a dead end apparently. Unless we go there and use up inventory to break open the barricade and get back out the window, which I guess we could. Oh, a note. A note. The door, door code is 3333. It can't get any easier. Remember it. I'm not opening that door after dark anymore. I'm going to get some gasoline from the pig shed. I'll be back after dark. What do you know? <laughs> Literally just missed that when I was fighting that guy. Uh, it's all right. At least it wasn't like a huge, a huge one. But yeah, that's why I have to be careful asking questions, but. All right, so 
Our inventory is pretty friggin' full at the moment. Sleeper, shotgun shells, and map of the forest. Silent forest hideout. There's a new hideout here. Keotrex house, wolf's camp. Okay. Hey there, friend. The last hideout. Look for an exit beneath the floor. Oh god, it's one of the big dogs. Hey, it's one of the guys with the sticks. <laughs> nice. Full health it is, yeah, it's full health at the moment. That's all. This place would make a good hideout. Are you sure? All right, we can make a shovel at long last. How dark are these woods really? They get completely dark. Sticks galore! Oh yeah, yeah, like I said, it wasn't a big one. It's just, uh... I had to be... I had to be careful to... Like, I asked the question, right? So I had to be careful how I... Phrase it of how much I... I want answered of it, I suppose. You know what I mean? Well, it's not like a... Not like a... You know, band now sort of thing or something. So a new hideout, huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not like mad or something. Like I said I, as soon as it happened, I was like, man, I should have, I should have asked that differently. <laughs> Yo, yeah, game here. Do your part. Thank you, Kimo. Very much appreciated. Thank you for watching on YouTube. Thank you for helping out. That's a blow. Be clucking mad. Ha ha ha. All right. Light the oven. Bok, bok, bok. The oven is lit again. Interesting. So our essence carries over here. That's good. And the workbench upgrade. Subline! God, thank you for the gift sub to Solid Snake. I know him. Uh, thank you, Snowline. Much appreciated. Where's the generator here? Okay, there it is. Repair the doorway. Alright, so we have a new place to hang out at night. And, oh man, I have, I have wood left at the other saw. There's the generator. Potato and some pills. Oh, 
Oh my god, I have so much fuel and stuff back. Wait, 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 wait. Does that carry over? Nyla. Thank you for the gift sub to Cryptic. Cryptek. No ads for you, Cryptek. Uh, thank you, Nyla. I'm in stream. Watch a bunch of YouTube. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you for letting me know. Thank you for coming over here. Oh, uh, no. Bike bell. A rusty bike bell. Someone has attached a note to it. We're going to have to go bring that stuff here. Oh, that sucks. So let's go ahead and empty this crap. A note. Okay. Something is happening. Okay. Building a kill box and burn corridors to fort fortify this new base. <laughs> it's the dinner bell. Yeah, what? A rusty bike bell. Someone has attached a note to it. Uh, does that generator have enough for one night at least? Oh, the bike man. Hey there, boss. I'll be honest here, boss. I'm real thirsty, you see. If you could share a refreshing beverage with a weary traveler, I would make it worth your while. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, when life's a bee, booze is a must. I can show him the photo of the road. A beautiful, ro a beautiful road, Mr. Boss Man. Long and straight. You'll find only twisted paths in these parts, mister. The man waves his hand sloppily. Always losing his balance. Let me tell you something, mister. A good liquor straightens out all the paths. Every single one of them. Major movie titles to voice... <laughs> All right, uh, how long does this generator last? It's got a night and a half. Okay, okay. We'll see if we have any alcohol for this uh, kind fellow here. Anytime you see a drunk asking for alcohol, you just want to give him as much of it as you can. That's what I always say. There we go. We got three bottles of alcohol. Perfect. Send the clips to Pixar. Yeah, they definitely need a Cletus... Ah, good vintage. A bottle a day keeps the monsters away. To your health, boss. If you want, boss, I can bring you junk from the other hideout. Yes! Yes! All of it. Perfect. Which hideout should I take the junk from, boss? Dry Meadows. Own it like a nun in a cucumber field, boss. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my. I didn't realize what I was about to read there. <clears throat> yeah, we found a good mechanic, yeah. Wait, what What does that mean? Ask your mother. Ask your mother. Ask your mother. Animated movie, Cookie Crumble. We kept going in the studio in a chicken outfit. <laughs> ask your mother. Hey, Adam, can you explain what that means? No, ask your mother. So he's going to be back the next day, then? Ask your local nun. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss uh, uh, Lady Superior. Can you tell me what you would do in a cucumber field? You get thwacked. That's what you're going to get. Thwacked. Oh, my God. This has so many entrances. What are we... Oh, no. What? This place sucks. What am I even going to do? I have to repair the doorway, but I don't have the stuff. Because bike guy. Oh, no. What? what? This is completely open. <laughs> uh. Bike guy. <laughs> 
Well. Well. That's shut at least, so. Uh, how about this game? It's been, it's been fine so far, yeah. Fine so far. Yeah, we have a couple things that can be dragged, yeah. Like, maybe we can block off a little bit. I'm not sure. Quite fond of cucumbers, or so you're told. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, there's quite a few that we can drag. It's not going to stop them completely because they can push things out of the way as well. Oh, we can't drag that one. catch up a little bit something that can be dragged yeah yeah i read that backwards sorry about that i think i read it backwards drag stream no i'll do that too things get coming up but i have to do it because the hot potatoes coming up my slot and hot potatoes already been. barricading is a cool concept it's very immersive yeah, yeah it is nice that you can interact with a bunch of this stuff in general like that too but yeah, I do still have to do that. Yeah, I also have to do the Twitch Toolkit stream, which I think... I oh, no. Wait, what? Where's that? Oh. Oh. I have to do both of those before the hot potato. What? I thought I was out of the way. Crap. Yeah, get on out of here. Where's that friggin' bike man with all my stuff? He's probably gonna come the next morning. Good thing I brought this other lamp closer. Yeah, that's why those guys ran away. Right for the hot potato, lots of people will be watching. It's, uh, it's kind of what my wife said too, and I was like, yeah. Uh. Better not switch. Oh my god. Better not switch off on me, I was about to say. You mean like starting the, uh, the subathon with two hours instead of one because I need to give people enough time to get in here and get the sub meter up? Like that sort of advice? <laughs> Favorite NPC so far? I don't know. 
right now uh the button well pro probably the trader maybe duck they were the 21 months dog 21 months very much appreciated maybe the trader because uh i can always count on him you know dog murderer Record from last year's hot potato. I don't think I will be able to. I don't know, but I feel like I won't be able to. Yeah. Of course, last year I thought we would only raise only. That was suddenly very loud. Willem, uh, Willem, thank you for the tw 20 gift subs. Uh, very much appreciated. Wasn't expecting it. I <laughs> uh, think Willem, very much appreciated. Off to bed. Enjoy the stream. Uh, thank you. It stands for me motionless. I can only see my own faint reflection in the semi-transparent visor of the helmet. What was I saying? Alerts are staring you more than the game. Totally not you. Uh, but last year I thought we were only gonna raise three or four thousand dollars for charity, and we raised almost twenty thousand. So Caboodle thing with seven months. I already see this one coming, I'm sorry. <laughs> Caboodle ruin ruined that one for you. No, thank you, Caboodle, for the seven months. And, uh... Uh, the great. Thank you for the ten gift subs. Thank you. Very much appreciated. I saw that one coming, though, because I looked over to thank Caboodle. <laughs> but I do still appreciate it. But I see Kyle. Welcome in. Let's start to move quick. <sighs> Tet! Thank you for the twenty... Tet. Like, I must remain number one. Uh, Tet. Thank you for the twenty gift subs also. Thank you, Tet. Something in his pocket, he takes out a piece of charcoal and starts writing on his palm. There's no way out of here, brother. No way out of here, brother. You ruined things. No, thank I appreciate it. He shows me what he's written and wipes it off with his sleeve and continues scribbling. We're stuck with each other. After making sure I've also read the second sentence, the man takes out a full tank of gasoline from his sack. He places it on the floor next to me. So does he have new things to trade now? No, not really. Okay. Uh, yes, thank you again, Tet, and the great Caboodle, Willem. Thank you, guys. I think I'm going to keep saving up and get the stuff to make an actual gun. Seems like it could be pretty handy. Consider it more IHOP money. And yeah, we were just talking about going to IHOP again, actually. Like, I think I mentioned it yesterday to my wife. Going to IHOP. <laughs> As you should. All right, so bike man. Did he just bring the stuff back? Let's turn the generator off. I'm guessing I have to ring the bell again to bring it back. Let's get making dinner and have pancakes. Okay. Where are you, bike man? You showed up out here last time. There he is. Okay. Dream Daddy replay win. I need to make a Dream Daddy to you. Wait, wait. So, where's all the stuff then? Ah, uh, okay. I thought that was the gasoline. No, this is all the stuff. Oh, even brought the wood back, too. Nice. Okay. Oh my god, are we gonna have to uh well maybe Wolf will sell stuff here too. Like are we gonna have to go all the way back to talk to Wolf? Hopefully not. I mean I know he has a place here, obviously, but
Okay, um, get the fuel down here. Well, let's make the shovel finally. A shovel at long last, heavy, but it has good reach. It's a new base. It is a new base. Yeah, what I'm curious. Have you been a subscriber longer than her? Because she only gets gifted subs because it would be a, a loss of money if she sub subscribed herself, right? There's a Dream Daddy comic series. Just read it on stream. <laughs> okay, so we got the shovel. Hopefully it ends up being pretty useful. Uh, we do need to upgrade this again, but I don't know what that item is that we're going to need. So, uh, we need to take some boards and we need some nails. Why is the flashlight that he has partially used? Trying to sell me a used flashlight? Crap. Really top 30? It's crazy. Yeah. I can't believe there's over 30 people with 3,000 hours at the channel. Okay, we have a whole new area to explore. So, that's nice. Very nice. Okay, um... We should also go ahead and repair our main board. And I guess I can just leave the bike bell behind... Actually, if we... Yeah. yeah, we can leave it behind for now. All right. Uh, yeah, new, totally new area to explore. Eotrix house. There's also that camp to the left of here. Chairs, number one. Rakes is number one. I don't think anyone will ever keep, catch up with rakes. Oh, I forgot. I always forget that they have that second hit on that, that one swing. Breaks bots. He's just always AFK here, yeah. Think he'd make it in the top 10. If not for RimWorld. Yeah, he probably would. Alright. Okay. Watch it. Uh, it only gives you hours for being in chat. Oh, a handgun frame. Good thing I didn't buy that. Oh, that's really nice. All right, let's go dump stuff. Seems mean to kill him. He was just sitting there. He will come attack us at night. Sometimes the best defense is a preemptive defense. Also known as an offense. <laughs> Using the shovel. Uh, I was hoping that it would be useful as a tool, but yeah, it doesn't. I'm not. I'm not sure. You can try it out. Yeah, it looks like it's a it's a weapon. Let's try it out. I think the game's feeling bad that well, yeah, I was trying to get a stick before. Now it's just inundating us with sticks. Alright, which mouse tool are we gonna use today? How about a nine millimeter? 
Any easy ones? Uh, we can check that before we go out too, because I'm gonna go to the right anyway. Does this base have a um have a well? Hope so. A sticky situation. <laughs> Is there a well here? Feels like there should be. We'll look and see if the shovel has easy upgrades or not. We still didn't get the, um, the box open at the other base. Yeah, there's the well. We definitely want to get that. Okay. Doghouse? Who keeps their batteries in the doghouse? What? All right, shovel upgrades are uh, attacks use less stamina, sharpen inflicts more damage. We can get that one. Better materials, weapon durability, sturdy blade greatly increases weapon durability. Oh, we would need another. Sweet. That that seems pretty pretty good though. More durability and sharpened. Because you only have two upgrades. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Do wield salamis on your rogue. <laughs> Fun long enough. You get a drink? It's alright. Our squared's, uh, headed out, so no. No pun punishment today. Alright, let's go see what Peotrix house is. Peotrix. I can't believe I missed that code initially. I meant to. I meant to drop things off. Yeah. Out of the way, bike man. He's in a really kind of annoying spot. So. All right. Let's go. Let's follow this. Whoa. Very slow, very high damage. Kills the huge dog in two hits. But I gotta get used to the swing timer on that. Holy crap. Oh no, rain. Rain. Go, go, power shovel. That's right. A pile of junk sloppily welded together. Okay. This was once a tractor, and now it's a hollow, rusty body. All of its useful mechanical parts have been scavenged. There's a heavy smell of gasoline in the air. Tractor wheel, wheel junk. Oh, I need a torch. I need a torch. I don't think you can wield the lantern the same way, but I haven't tried. No, you can't. So we need to come back to this house with a torch. Rain makes you drop the shovel when you swing it. That would suck.
Place looks like a scrap metal warehouse. The walls are covered with fungus and spider webs. It's very stuffy in here. Use the matchstick and light the fuse. That seems like a bad idea. Of course, it also seems like a bad idea to go in and use a torch, huh? Postcard with a portrait of a man. Someone has pinned a caption on it. 1961. The sky is dark. The earth is blue. Smell of rosin. Locked. You need a key. Is this a pickable one? Nope. Okay, so we need to come back with a torch. Check the outside here. Shovel one shots those guys. Nice. Sweet green sofa back to our hideout. Yeah. Eutrich's house. So, yeah, we need a torch back there. Let's just go up and left and see if we can find Wolf here. See what he says. See, it would have made things a lot easier. Yes, very much so. Crazy how long ago we could have had it. I barely believe my, my beautiful eyes. You made it. I need to ad admit you're a quite resourceful piece of meat. Wolf smiles, reeling a row of sharp teeth. Time to get to the specifics. Follow the path located in the southeastern edge of the silent forest. You'll get to a village where you'll find a hag who reeks of chickens. Talk to her. Maybe you'll learn something interesting. Be on your guard, comrade. Don't let her deceive you with that kind face of hers. The selfish is keeping something that does not belong to her behind the locked door in her house. Something I'm after. Bring me the key to that door, and I will tell you where to find the thing you lost. It is fair, comrade. A key for a key? Good. Then take off. Get to work. He's a communist. Looks like no one else will enlighten you. Listen. The inhabitants of our lovely village hold many, many secrets. Treasures they do not wish to share with anyone. Those selfish, deceitful wretches, they think they're superior because they have human gobs. They treat us like lepers. But you know what? Screw them. We're buddies, aren't we? And then they deserve to be punished, meat. I'm not, I'm not sure I trust this furry with an AK-47 on his back. The wolf moves close to me. Hear that squealing? It's one of their secrets. The wolf grins, listening to the distant sound with great relish. Find that pig shed meat. Make that squealing stop and the treasures will be yours. The crap. <laughs> okay. Meat. Meat. Here, have some meat. Oh, I need to go cook that. Uh, we also need to get the another toolbox from him. <laughs> See what he said when I tried to sell him the bottle? 
I don't want that crap meat. Okay. Oh, he has some locked crates here. Listen here, meat. Meat. I have no idea how long it is until uh, daytime. Or uh, nighttime, rather. How much longer we have. Man, that must be some strong fire. So we have two places to go. We have the southeast, where there's going to be a hag that we have to get, try to get a key from. And then there's a pig shed somewhere in the zone as well. Oh, right. Whoops. Hit my skill button. I say thanks for the help earlier. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no problem. So I'm guessing you're able to uh, oh, play it without uh, m minimizing when you want to switch over now. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, well, that's our second death. Got all sorted. Nice. I don't know how I missed that second hit. It's unfortunate. Shovel's strong when it swings very slow. It's going to take some getting used to. I'm real getting used to. I missed anything on the 20 year series when you go AFK? It's a long one. It's a long one. And it's going to take quite a while to get used to this friggin' shovel. Oh, I don't have my lantern. That's one of the items that fell off my corp or, uh, but it's on the corpse. And the map doesn't show you where you are, so there it is. All right, where does freaking dog go? Those big dogs kill you fast. Oh, there's a crate up here. We get a... Where'd he go? I don't think it was up from there. Yeah, the, the right mouse button is a faster attack. With, well, it was with the other weapons, but it... It took up uh, more stamina, I think. Yeah, way more stamina, but it might be useful in those situations either way. Better than dying, right? Probably better than dying. So we found a couple of different things that we can lockpick here. And then we need a torch to uh, clear whatever that crap is on the ground in that Yotrick house. Oh, I always get hit by that. God, so many sticks. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> yeah, I gotta go cook that meat for it rots, huh? Yeah, it's about halfway. Don't want to waste that. Gotta see what the next mushroom thing does for us. Whoops.
I'm gonna let us move it over. We also need to uh, repair this place before night comes. 396, we're getting pretty close. Yeah, it's getting nighttime. So let's uh, get our nails and our boards out. And let's see. Here, the doorway. Okay. Barricade that window. That window is barricaded. Uh, we need a lot more. I mean, we have a lot of logs over there, so. Man, there's three different friggin' doors on that room. Jeez. I better go put some uh, more fuel in the generator, too. A shovel yet? No, I haven't. Yeah, I need to look at that too. What FD, welcome in. There, welcome in. Alright. Two almost two nights of fuel. So I guess we'll hang out in this room. That's closed. 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 I wish we could put a door there. Alright, so that one's good. We got two over here. It's just this room full of doors, which is kind of... Kind of frustrating. Oh, we do have, uh, we have these two rooms, and this is pretty kiteable. exactly where I wanted it. Alright, that's gonna have to do. Now we can see both windows they could break. They're both bar barricaded. And then if they do come through a door, we have that. If we have the spirits come, we also have two lights. Bad idea. <laughs> Bad idea. Uh, but yeah, in the morning, we'll see what we need to repair the shovel. And we'll see how close we are to making the gun. But both are in the same room. Yeah, that's what I did at the other hideout. Yeah, I might do that again at this one. And then the only thing that we know... The actual location in this area is southeast. We have the hag place they were talking about. Oh my god, it's after six already. Well, I still be wrapping this up here pretty soon for the day. History mode or sandbox? I have no idea what that means. This is whatever the... This is just the game, yeah, I don't know. 
Um, is there a sandbox mode in this game? If it is, it's not this. Yeah. <laughs> but all I did was I'm blind to the games. So all I did is start it up and hit um hit new game, and that's that's it. That's it. Is there a, is there a sandbox mode? It'd be kind of interesting if there is, but I don't know that I'll have time to play it. Oh, you don't know if it has. Oh my God! What? No. I'm gonna end up dying. But no, I, I I don't know either. Yeah. All I know is, yeah, like I said, just I did a, a new. No. <laughs> That's the first time I've died during the night. Oh man, that sucks. We won't get the hundred stuff from the guy. Yeah, it's all right. My own fault. My own fault. All right, let's go check the southeast. Uh, turn off the generator. See what it takes to repair the shovel. But yeah, I, I don't know. That would be kind of cool if it do, if it did have one or like a procedurally generated thing. I don't think so though, because it's a it is a story like survival horror game, but. This would make a good, like, layout for that sort of thing. Uh, repair shovel takes boards and metal parts. Okay. Uh, all right. And then make the pistol. What do we, what is that? We need gun parts, which takes 450. We have the handgun frame. We have the tape, so we just need weapon parts. No idea for death. We we didn't get our hundred rep, which is what you use for currency. And so I guess if we run out of materials or whatever, we could get kind of screwed. But also, we we died in the house, right? So it's easy to pick up our stuff. We die out somewhere. It might be a much much different thing. Uh, we can we can buy it. Let's see what a gun is like. This will be the only day that we skip the mushroom if I do that. We can get the mushrooms here. Yeah, let's see how uh, guns are in this one. All right, we upgraded from uh, a plank with nails in it to a gun. That's pretty good. And a shovel. <laughs> pretty big upgrade, I would think. Oh, look at the range on that. Now we gotta go shoot something. Okay. Shotgun axe. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're gonna try to make next. Uh, we need to upgrade the workstation, which means we need to trade stuff to Wolf. That would be really handy. Uh, we could also get a better melee weapon. The sickle doesn't interrupt enemy attacks, but we could make the sickle when we upgrade as well. We definitely need a bigger inventory. That takes another 450, though. Uh, yeah, let's go try this out. All right. Xenos, mutants, and heretics. 
Pretty much what's in this as well, yeah. <laughs> that works. All right, southeast. Hopefully this path just leads there. It'll be easy to remember how to get home. And the path ends. <laughs> Tank wreck. Um. Oh god. Usually those guys aren't aggressive when they're doing that. Wow, that pistol gets broken down pretty friggin' quickly. I didn't look at the upgrades on it, though. Tank Rick. A single shot pistol? I sell that to Wolf, I guess. Um, crap. I mean, we can come back and grab this stuff, I suppose. It's not like we're far from home. Oh, is this right under... Yeah, it's right under the Piotrick house. Oh, right. I meant to get a uh, torch for that. <laughs> you want to try to kill the wolf to get all the door codes from him? <laughs> nah, don't worry about not being able to upgrade anything further. It's fine. Just go shoot the wolf. He has an AK-47 on his back, too. But, ah, it's... we fine. He probably doesn't know how to use it. Probably. Uh, all right, let's see what the upgrades for the pistol look like here. Hopefully more ammo capacity. What? You can't upgrade the pistol? Okay. And you can't repair it? Oh, no. What? That's awfully expensive to only get, like, six shots, and then you can't use it anymore. Ouch. Wow, that sucks. So, it's like the lantern. Sorry, this is unusable. I've shot it six times. Well, I was not expecting that. Uh, what kind of magazine does it use? Semi-automatic pistol. Maybe we could drag the weapon over to it. I'm not sure. Survival horror it is. Yeah, that's pretty a accurate. Another shrine. Hmm. You see? Thank you, Suplop. Maybe lurk. Yeah, it'll be up. It'll be up on there. I'm going to go sell some stuff to Wolf before I go uh, make the torch and stuff. We really need more health. And I'm thinking the armor is going to give us more health. So we need to get the toolbox in order to get... Uh, to get that...
Okay. So we got the toolbox. We can upgrade the workbench again. That's for you guys. Middle mouse, middle mouse. Oh god, it can scroll by them too. Why isn't that working? I guess if you hit it and you accidentally scroll at the same time, it's not going to do the attack. It's going to... The, uh, the scroll, like... Supersedes the... Middle click. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I already used the well, the well today, too. I don't want to use my heels. God, I might have to. Alright, okay. Oh, right. We need whatever the crap that is. Not. Oh my god, I bought the wrong thing. That was a mistake. I forgot that the next one needed this drill or it looks like a gas pump, actually. Well, that sucks. Let's keep that, though, just in case. Um, I guess we could still go over there and try to use the torch today. We might blow ourselves up, but, you know. It's a risk I'm willing to take. Or, uh, yeah, like a soldering iron, welder, something, yeah. It could be any of those things. It's a workbench, so that would make sense. All right. It's good for three nights. Let's see if we have time to go over to, uh, whatever, whatever that house name was. Hey, shiny stone. Just down to the right of here, right? Oh, his is pretty much straight to the right. The tank was down into the right. We are so low in health. It said that you could smell gas in this room, so of course we're going to take a torch there and see what happens. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Oh, rabbit. Give me that meat, bunny. Oh, there's some of that crap right here, too. All right, here we go. Good luck to us. Ah, it's not blowing up. It's fine. Oh, God. There's a dog in there. How come it wasn't impacted by this stuff, huh? Alright, so why did we come in here? There's a crate. Okay. We know why. A note and a friggin' toolbox. <laughs> what is this? Item found blueprint. A rocket? Oh, that's how we're gonna get out of the woods. We're just gonna build a rocket. Alright, cool. We'll show that to the wolf. I'm sure he'll know how to build a rocket. We need to get some mushrooms, though. We might be close to getting the next uh, upgrade, mushroom upgrade. All right. Real dark wood. <laughs> Going incognito. Heb, welcome in. 
That's weird that you can clear that. It doesn't seem to do anything, though. All right, let's go see if we can give this item or show this item to the wolf. I was hoping it was another code. And if I accidentally step on a mushroom, we're just going to die. There's the shrine. Okay. All right. Show. Oh, we can't show it to him. Okay. Maybe we can show it to the trader in the morning if we survive the nights. I mean, oh, we got a new update. Day 13, the wolf's offer. The wolf has asked me to bring him the key to the locked room in the house of the hag that reeks of chickens. In exchange for this favor, he will help me retrieve my key. A key for a key. Seems quite fair. I shall find the hag in the village in the southeastern edge of the silent forest. I really should have saved. I didn't know the gun wasn't going to be repairable. We're going to try to uh, combine the bullets into it that we left on the tank. But uh, if that doesn't work, then yeah, the, the gun will basically be like, save it for one of those boss fights, I guess you'd call it. Like with the with the bride. Maybe with the hag. Careful, there's mushrooms in the dark there. There's the tank. Small calent caliber. What? <laughs> it's really weird. Medium caliber? Nope. Small caliber semi automatic pistol. Hmm. Try pressing R. R works. Okay, so how are we going to get small caliber shells in the future? Oh, that that actually lost all the ammo left in it. It's not like other games where you only load how much you need it. It's more realistic. So we threw that away. Okay, so we gotta be careful with that in the future because I just wasted probably like two bullets. Okay. At least we know we don't have to make the friggin' frame and all that again. Uh, did Wolf actually sell straight up bullets? It's interesting you can't upgrade the pistol though. Uh, don't step on a friggin' mushroom. But again, like, unless... Unless the bullets are, like, under 100 rip, it's probably not gonna be worth uh, using them on, like, everything. Use them on big things only. He does sell, sell small caliber for literally a hundred. Okay. Good to know. I gotta take my meat back home. Listen here, meat. I don't mean myself either. <laughs> Take my meat and myself back home.
We did already use the well today, right? And this game feels way longer. For some reason. Yeah, we used it today. Well, we might actually have to heal up. Survive this night. I'm hoping we can uh, get the next upgrade, though, and see what happens there. See if we have another one of those weird events. We're about to find out. Oh, there's a tier two. My vulnerability to poison will increase. My sight will get worse for a short amount of time when I receive damage. My blood will hurt enemies. What? Big advantage. Any reason you're not using it? I just didn't want to waste the materials. Like if I if I die during the actual daytime, it doesn't seem to matter too much as long as I'm close to home. Uh, I should use yeah. I should, I, I I kept I keep forgetting that I picked up the moth thing. Once a day for about a minute, you'll be able to see all around you. Once a day, I'll be able to run for a short amount of time without losing stamina. Uh, Alistair, thank you for the brand new tier one sub. Thank you, Alistair. Very much appreciated. Huh. I'm not sure which one of these. I guess this. They both seem pretty bad. So far, the only thing that's poisonous, though, are like corpses and mushrooms, but I don't know if that's always going to be the case. My blood will hurt enemies. Maybe, maybe that means we'll get some like thorn damage or something. All right, screw it. I, I do wonder, I don't want to know, but I'm going to look after I'm done with the playthrough. If you don't get any of these perks, what happens? YouTube content, watch all the room roll videos. Oh God, another one of these, yep. Uh, thank you, yeah, I'm glad you like it over there. We're coming over here. Very late to the party. The smell of grass and trees. We have nothing this time. The earth bends under my footsteps. The sky swirls pleasantly. I think it's here. Oh, I wasn't expecting this. A completely ordinary dead man with a smile on his face. Completely ordinary. Come, lie with me. Feel the soil. The trees hum so calmly. I can lie down in the grave. They sing so beautifully. I picked up the shovel. So you basically have the chance to lay down in the grave or fight it with a shovel. Uh, hey, we woke up full health. Nice. Now we got our stuff back. Weird. I thought we were going to wake up in the cave again. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of wish I had laid down in the grave to see what happens. <laughs> Oh well. Alright. Uh, let's put this away. Don't have a lot left in this day, I guess. Let's 
So we can explore a little bit, but as soon as it starts getting kind of like orange tinted, we have to run back home. Let's just go like straight to the right so we can just turn around and run back. That's getting pretty close. Getting pretty close to time to just run or uh, to hunker down for the night. Yep, unfortunate. Speaking of hunkering down for the night, uh, it's already 6.30, so I should probably get off here after this night anyway. We'll see if we survive the night, and uh, then we'll wrap things up, and then we'll go to the chicken house in the morning. I gotta get me some food. Speaking of chicken. Leave me already? Quitter. Yeah, we've already been playing this game for over seven hours, surprisingly. I feel like that. Wonder how much further in we would have been had I checked that uh wardrobe the very first time I went to the silent forest house. <laughs> but we would have come here way less prepared. We wouldn't have even had a lantern. Lantern, no shovel. Did you get aim or try a new one next stream? No, we'll finish it. Yeah, we'll finish it. The only horror game that I didn't finish on stream uh, during the event was Remothered because it was awful. It was just absolutely terrible. You mean Remothered? No, Remothered. I think Ray watch. Yeah, we're going to see if we survive the night first. And then from there. Sheen for Pigs wasn't good either. I didn't, I didn't think it was good either, but still way better than Remothered. Drunk Fingers. Remothered. Wait until it gets closer. Was Remothered better than Greedfall? I mean, I finished Greedfall. I didn't finish Remothered. So. It kind of was worse than Greedfall, yeah. <laughs> Not saying a lot. Saying a lot. I've been liking this one. This one's been fine so far, yeah. I just wish I hadn't accidentally missed that code. Like we could have been we could have been in this area probably like four hours ago. Game despite its tragic beginning on the stream. Yeah, it just wasn't bad at all. It wasn't bad. Wasn't as good as the Darkest Dungeon, but, you know, the game doesn't have to be as good as the best in the genre to be worth playing. So... I'm not sure how else to really barricade this. Okay, so the three doors here are shut. We can't have another door here. That window is barricaded. That one's barricaded. The ones over here are barricaded. Oh god, this one is not barricaded anymore. I wonder if that's how they saw me. Crap. It was about score in the past couple of days. Here's the unfortunate thing about it. So when I finished it, I looked up some stuff. The unfortunate thing about it is the developers themselves said they have no idea. So basically the developers had an idea for a game and for artwork and, and a world, but they have no idea and did not. They specifically even in their own art book say they did not flesh these things out. And so when they've been asked questions about things, they're like, we have no idea. So unfortunately, a lot of those questions, the theories behind them don't even matter because literally not even the developers know because they didn't make background or story to it. It's unfortunate.
Crap. Oh my god, I've I've like never died to those guys and just died twice in a row to them. We're not gonna tell you instead, yeah. GG. How's that GG? We literally just we're still here. Yeah, there's just no room in here. I think we need to stay in this room. Design. Who knows? Yeah. So they basically had uh, an idea for a for like a neat world. But they have no idea why anything. Because like the Genesis wall, that wall at the second act where your character is like born from. Someone was like, well, what's the origins of the Genesis wall? Why is it like it is? And they were like, we don't know. It just seemed like a cool idea. Like, all right. Yeah, it's very like lazy story writing because there's no story writing. So they should have had like a story writer piece things together. And you definitely could, right? Pr pretty, pretty easily. Let's get games. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we're playing all the different kinds of um of genres, but yeah, there are a couple of jump scare games. I think there's at least three of them. We usually do it in the same order. We play like atmospheric and like more slow paced horror scary games and then as the event is coming to an end we have the more jump scare crazy games Ugh. axe blade do we know how to make the axe yet we gotta get this upgraded we gotta turn this off as they ran out of ideas for what, behind the portal. The portal is supposed to be um, enlightened pleasure. It's the it's embodiment of pleasure or something. And your character doesn't make it. Doesn't make it there. But they did come up with some story stuff with the overarching major things. Apparently they were just like, I don't, we don't know. But yeah they'd come up with themselves explain everything yeah exactly now some of the stuff from the art book of scorn they did do like there was a reason why um uh things were like they were and there was a reason behind like the little creatures or whatever and there was they had a name and there was like a civil war and there was another war or whatever they didn't even yeah they, they didn't piece it all together so game that was weird what does that mean youtube search scorn story explained yeah, but it's the story explanations doesn't matter because the the developers themselves don't know the story. So, what's up to tomorrow? The continuation. Of this, yeah. All right, let me save it, uh, and I'll tell you guys what's happening for tomorrow. But yeah, we'll we'll just be continuing this tomorrow. Yeah, we can't show him that item either. Time since the last save, two seconds. <laughs> I think that's good. Um, yeah, I'm getting getting pretty tired. I need to go. Uh, I'm on here later than normal. I need to go get some food, wrap things, or uh, I need to wrap things up, go get some food, and get some rest. Uh, which might be why I'm finally dying a lot too. Bounty? No, no bounties today. Um, but yeah, we hadn't died to like anything. Definitely not to those stick guys. They're very easy to dodge, and I just died to them twice in a row. So anyway, that's fine. We'll continue tomorrow.